Hello everyone, we are Art of War. And we believe in creating a community where people can talk about, learn, and improve their skills at Warhammer 40k. Our channel has live stream competitive matches of 40k, played by the best players in the world. And we focus on teaching you how to get better at Warhammer, while also emphasizing sportsmanship and engagement with our audience. We strive to play every faction in the game to a top level, while also using a variety of lists to show off different playstyles for every faction. We also offer a variety of other videos such as codex reviews, faction rankings, tactics videos. When you join our channel, you become part of our community, where we emphasize learning and positive conversation about competitive 40k. You get early access to our videos, sub badges, emotes, as well as rewatch those hangout and hobby sessions. Joining our community is a great way for you to show your support for us so we can keep making awesome videos for you and continuously expand the bounds of competitive 40k. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Art of War stream game. I'm Richard Siegler. This is Mr. Jack Harpster. Hello. And we are bringing a super exciting matchup. I'm bringing back the Necrons, led by Nemesir Nick. He's here. He's in the list. He's Where the Lord. He? I don't see he's him. He's right in there. Oh, he's okay. going to come down and scythe some of these systems. And roll a lot of six way. ups, I tell you what. So we're going to find out what Nemesir Nick can do. And he's going up against the brand new sisters, led by their supreme commander. Morvan Vol and Celestine together. Volistine, Valentines. I don't know. Come up with your own name. Whatever combination Whatever you can come up, sell as well. it's powerful. It's, it's it seems good. It seems it good. It seems good. We're going to find out just how good in this game. Um, we are playing uh, Mission 13, which is Vital Intelligence, yep. four objectives down the middle, one in each deployment zone. Um, it's uh, a, ta a kind of quarters deployment yep. style. Yep. And uh, Fairly balanced. Yeah, fairly balanced overall. I am super excited to bring the Necrons back. I'm running a double Catan list, so why don't we just talk about that real quick. Oh, boy. I am bringing... Emissary Nick himself, leading the army as the Lord. He's backed up by a Chronomancer. Okay. And then he has a Royal Warden. All right, all right, all right. Then I have three bricks of 20 warriors. Two of those warrior bricks have the Gauss Reapers, that close range, really powerful gun. And then I have one of the uh, Flayers, a little bit extra long range punch. Then I have three units of Scarabs, a five, five, and a three Scarab unit. I have three units of Crypto Thralls. Help you cheeky around and run, get objectives, playing, burrow yeah. into objectives. And then I have a double Catan. One is the Nightbringer himself. He's about to scythe down some of Jack's I'd loyal love to characters. I'd see him try. He's going to try. And then we have a Transcendent Catan. So they are going to try and do a lot of mortal wounds to Jack's army. And uh, even though Jack has amazing psychic defense, these are not in the psychic phase. Mm. So we're going to see this how like much they can do. It's like the first time that actually matters. Yeah. But yeah, can't stop and it. And the whole army is custom dynasty except for those... Uh, those two Catan, I got the pregame move as well as obsec on everything. So those warriors with yep. double obsec. Oh yeah, I gotta kill them fast. Gotta kill them fast. Gotta kill them fast. Uh, I'm running the new sisters list. Very excited about this. And I'm running Vol and Celestine, and then some units to give them the bodyguard <laughs> keywords. So they can't be shot. The rest of the army doesn't move. It's just the that's <laughs> those two are really the, the key parts. But uh, Argent Shroud and Bloody Rose. I'm mixing the best from both worlds because every buff I have works on both sub factions. That's amazing. So that's pretty strong. I have two big blocks of three uh, mortifiers, ready to just shoot heavy bolter shots down range until Seeks feels like that's enough. Uh, I have two squads of Sacrosants ready to give my characters the ability to not be shot and just hang out in front of his army and just say, get some of this. I have two squads of Zephyrim, one's off the board, one's on the board. Two squads of Dominions in their rhinos ready to scout them up with Retributors ready to shoot real, real yeah. hard. And uh, some Battle Sisters. Yeah. And those Retributors are running heavy flamer ones. Heavy flamers. We're going to see if that yeah, pays off. But you can flamers. shoot a lot of flamer shots can, with that. It turns out you can put a lot of damage in. A lot of damage in, right. 36 shot hits, sorry, 36 hits, plus one to wound, AP one, strength six, ignores cover. It's pretty good. It's, it's not good. bad. <laughs> so we're gonna find out just how good uh, these heavy, heavy flamer plays are. And uh, let's go into sponsors before Absolutely. we jump into what our deployments look like. So first up, we have Warpfire Minis, wonderful store in Ocala, Florida. They have a brilliant trade-in program. Take all your old minis, whether they're new in box, they're on sprue, they're painted poorly, they're painted by Nick, whatever it is, you can go ahead. It's a whole other category. <laughs> it's a whole right other there. separate category. They do accept those models. In fact, we have tried, and uh, so you can go send them in, and you get 50% off a new in-box product uh, once you trade those minis in. So you can get a lot of new stuff. We've gotten tons of armies, and all pretty much every new army that comes out, we trade in some old stuff. Get the new armies. 
So, uh, and the other thing about Warp Fire is they are stocking as much of Games Workshop product as they can. As soon as things come back in stock, they're ordering them. You mean and new sisters too? Exactly. They have a lot of new sisters and they are shipping next day. So you can get them very fast for those tournaments. Fantastic. All right, our next sponsor is Big Bear 3D. If you like the terrain we have on our stream, you can get exactly those models. They're stocked by Big Bear 3D. They have custom kits designed for each of our coaches. So if you want, say, a Mark table for some reason, or a uh, John Lennon table, or Richard Siegler table, you can get the set. Uh, they try and combine like functional tabletop terrain with good looking terrain, which yep. if you've ever been to a tournament, and you that's just pretty saw, rare. Like, cardboard boxes. Either cardboard, out. like just MDF. just MDF, just straight lines, or you see terrain that has all kinds of holes in it and doesn't actually block line of sight at all, and they, they bring the two together. Yep. So, pretty, pretty excited to have them have the And sponsor. the great thing right now is they are running a sale. The That's coupon right. code, Charlie's going to put those into chat, but if you're interested in getting 10% off uh, some of your orders, as well as some free models, check them out. All right. Then we have uh, Golden Globe Gaming, which is our paint, spo paint sponsor. They are an uh, excellent paint studio, and they did our Jukari Army. Wonderful work on that. Beautiful. Nick has tried his best to keep that intact, and he's actually done a decent job on I'm it. I'm sur surprised. So it I, must be nice. <laughs> we were taking a big risk letting him touch it. But uh, the paint jobs are wonderful. They can do super high quality stuff. They can do uh, cheaper, fast things. And they also uh, are very uh, reasonable and quick. Yeah. So check them out. Next sponsor is Table War, home of the original Fat Mat, yep. home of all of our Fat Mats that we have here. Uh, they not only look nice, but speaking of Nick proof, they're Nick proof. <laughs> man, you can he's spill. Tried. Oh man, he spilled everything. It's been like a like a testing facility in here for table war mats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not sticky. You can clean them off. We had the like, lab coats on. Oh everything. man, just just both of us with goggles on, just watching Nick spill random stuff. He doesn't even know he's being tested. <laughs> Uh, and they're, they're amazing. They're great. You just roll them out and makes your table look nice. You don't have to have like yeah, pieces of felt or anything They look amazing like in person. They're super detailed. And, and there's one for pretty much every, uh, every models, kind of Models like to not move around a lot. They don't tip over. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's off balance. You get my point. They, they don't like bubble up and cause your models to fall over on their own. Stuff exactly. like that. All right. Then uh, if you don't want to get those new mats, uh, you can instead, and want to keep your old ones, head over to 3D6 Wargaming. They create the wonderful battle board where you can get it customized with your own images, logos. Uh, you can get your own sponsors on there if you have them. So check that out. They also do these wonderful objective mats, and uh, you can get those customized as well, whatever you want on there. We have wonderful Art of War objective mats, which you can check out in our web store on theartofwar40k.com. Even right. some exclusive ones, Nick with the Sisters Bob. <laughs> if, you, if you're feeling spicy. If you're feeling spicy. And then finally we have Obey Alliance, a major esports team looking to test the viability of 40k. They are looking at other games as well, tabletop games, RPG games. They're trying to really expand uh, what we think of as gaming. So if you want to check them out, head over to Twitter, Twitter and uh, Meta Initiative is where you can right. find them. All right, let's go grab that gimbal and let's nice. talk about these deployments. All right, let's see how many warriors you can fit ah, in one deployment zone. A lot. It fact. turns out it's 60. So here we go, starting on this flank. Uh, once again, I can pregame move, so I plan to pregame move behind this ruin here with these scarabs and those crypto thralls. Then I've got 20 warriors, 20 warriors, and 20 warriors. Most of them are relatively central so that I can really overload a side if I need to, but I always have the Veil of Darkness if I want to teleport elsewhere. Then the characters are in the middle so they can buff whichever unit I feel uh, most inclined to do so. And then the two Catan are ready to take up a position behind this ruin and just sky falling stars all game, all day. Until and I kill them somehow. Finally, there are a one other squad of scarabs over there ready to move behind this ruin. All right, Jack. Okay. Over here, we got our sisters. We got two mortifier units, one on this flank and one we'll see later. Uh, they're looking to just branch out and stop those burrowing into, uh, you know, on the objectives behind ruins, that sort of thing. They're looking to move out. Same thing with these rhinos. Rhino's looking to six inch scout pre-move and then and move to prevent Richard from just doing whatever he wants on those objectives on the corners. We've got two units of sacrosants fairly center so that they can prevent our characters from being shot. We've got both characters center depending on where Richard wants to go, they can answer that. And we have one unit of Zephyrum on the board ready to again answer objectives because that's what Richard likes to do, that's what he needs to do. He needs to pre-game move up and be obsec everywhere. So we're going to try and stop that from happening. we got another Dominion squad. They are literally just going to go and take that objective away and say, no, bad, slap his hand, get him out of here. And then finally, five sisters in the backfield? Five battle sisters in the back. They're going to data intercept all game. They're going to prevent you from <laughs> yeah, warping into my backfield. It's going to be great. All right, excellent. How are you feeling about first or second here, Jack? Uh, 
kind of want second, to be honest. So I get like a 15 in the bag. Yeah, you I do. You do I, move I, up very fast. I can move me. up pretty fast, but that is close to that, you know, sister's threat range where they do a lot of damage. That is pretty close. Yeah, you don't love that. All so. right. Um, last thing is secondaries before we roll off. What secondaries did you end up choosing, Jack? Well, I ended up taking Stranglehold, Data Intercept, and No Prisoners. No Prisoners, because all these nice swarms are four wounds apiece, and No Prisoners just got changed, so that, uh, that counts now. Uh, in addition, if Richard gets any models back, that will also count for No Prisoners, so I feel pretty comfortable getting, you know, probably like an eight or a ten on that yep. over the course of the game. Both Richard and I know I will kill his army, it's just how fast how fast can you do it? How fast can how I do it? How many points can I get out of this army? Exactly. So I, if that's going to happen, I need to get points for it. Um, and then the other two are just controlling the board. Stranglehold's really strong, and data intercept's pretty good. What about yep. you, Richard? So I went for very similar objectives here. I went for Stranglehold as well, and then I followed it up with data intercept, and then I finished it off with raise the banners. All board control, not really trying to kill Jack's army, uh, because... It's not really what your army does. My army or... kills decently, but not. it doesn't kill like large swaths of things. This is an ad mech. So I'm going to just try and play the mission as best as possible, rack up those points early, and deny Jack as many points as I can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, Don't let's go ahead and roll off. That. Here we go. All right, I'm taking the big dice for the big numbers. You can take the warp fire dice for the warp fire numbers. That's a one. Never mind. Big dice, get out all of right. here. I rolled all right, three. you must go first. I must go first in this case. So first of all, pregame moves. Yep. Going to go ahead and move them up. I also Max have some pregame moves. Uh, does your save... What's the wording? I believe language? it's if you go first. The person who goes first gets to just well, do theirs? Yeah. The person who goes first does yours. Some of them theirs. are worded that the person going first gets to do theirs first. Some are worded that um, with, without that wording, and so some you roll off. Dominion. You're not going to be able to block me over here anyway. So I'm, I'm not gonna... planning. I'm, I, I won't be able to get over there and block okay. you. We're going to just move. Uh, player taking the first turn moves their units first. Okay. So that makes it super simple here. Going to go ahead. And the key thing about moving the. Whoops. Sorry. How fast those things move? Six. Six on the pregame move. They oh, do yeah, move yeah, ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Now they're fast. Yeah. Just shuffling them up. Would so you like to peek them out a little? No, I would really not like to. All right, just let me know when you're done with all of your nonsense, moving up the board and taking everything plans. Oop. They're going to just come on up here. And I might as well push my advantage here, try and raise the banners, and then... Um, See if Jack can get on these objectives with some obsec. Because actually, Jack, you have two units that have obsec. Yep, one of them is sitting in the back <laughs> all game. <laughs> one of them is just dad answers. No, I'm so. I am kill and I don't not kill. Mm -hmm. That's the plan here. All right, and then these crypto thralls are going to come up. Oop, and then the rest of the units are going to walk on up. And I don't think Jack is going to be suicidal with. Uh, it's only six inches. There's only so suicidal I can be. The Rhino only was pregame six? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, it's not 12. Yeah, they capped it. They said uh, them or their transport moves uh, up to pregame moves up to six. All right. Now it's if I want to try and raise a banner over this way. I'm going to give myself the option to with this warrior unit. That way... All right. Let's I see can... what you're cooking up with over here, Siegs. I'm just shuffling these warriors up. These guys are going to come up. And the Catan have to stay there, unfortunately. And these guys will just stay here because they're going to data intercept back there. Yep. So that is going to be... I got it. Yep. So here we go. On this side, they pregame moved up. Going to touch that objective. And then this warrior unit potentially could raise a banner there, giving myself options. I'm going to kind of decide how the turn is going to go um, once I see where the rhinos are. And then the characters moved up with the scarabs, not touching the ruin. And then this unit is going to give myself the option to raise a banner out there. And then finally the scarabs can I just tuck back there, force the mortar fires to go after them. All right. Go ahead, Jack. You All get right, to do your my pregame game moves. Well, I'm going to move this rhino up to there. Just like that. Bold. I don't really think you can punish it that well. I mean, you can't exactly kill me. So, let's not pregame move Celestine by the <laughs> But it's possible I should be doing something else with my time. This is just to try and lock off these two objectives from you. Definitely can't do anything about that right now. Yeah. Whittle it down, maybe, but not really going to do a ton of damage. Um, and that's the only thing is I can pregame? That's it. Just the Dominions and go, their transports. Going to go up to 10 Commander points. Commanding points. Command right. those points. These Scarabs are just going to touch here, not the Ruin. 
and just got get it, out of the it. way. The crypto thralls are going to move over here and raise an objective, uh, raise a banner on this objective. Got it. Got it. You want to? I guess I can be the green tokens if you want to be the red ones. Sounds to good you. To me. Or I can be the red ones because I'm red. Yeah. No, that checks out actually. All right. So raise the banner there. I don't have banners, so is what it is. And then I'm. These guys are going to raise the banner over here. Uh, data intercept is going to go. None of them matter because I'm going to command phase stuff. So I'm going to command phase uh, these guys with the five up invul instead of those ones, which means I'm probably not going to try and raise the banner there that turn with them. Where instead do you like? Yeah. Reroll ones from the Lord, and that is it. Okie doke. So raise the banner over here. Data intercept is going to be done by the Royal Warden on this objective. Okay. And what to do, what else to do? I am going to move the Crypto Thralls, however, and touch this objective right there and raise the banner on that objective. Sounds solid. Sounds good. Just force Jack to put things out here. I want Jack to put as many units on his objectives as possible. Just put them like so. Um, what else do we have? That's why I put the invuln on this unit. Uh, my protocol is plus one movement, to be clear. Okay. So, these guys protocol the sudden storm, picking plus one movement. They can move seven if they want to. Oh, banners. I am going to banners this objective, and do I want to go for damage against one of these rhinos with the unit? The unit's probably just dead if I send them out there. So I might as well actually go for damage with them. So are you not banishing? Potentially. I'm going to do the action. You're going to do the action decide. and then cause it to fail if you want. Yeah. Exactly. But I would probably just stick with the action. Yeah. I mean, playing safe, getting your points. Like, I don't think getting dragged into a firefight is necessarily what you want. Nope. And then I'm going to just keep stringing the rest of the unit back here um, because I would probably just do that move. Okay. These scarabs, I want to just put them touching this objective, but the Jack could go ahead and tag it with the mortifiers and see them. I just want to make it so it's hard for you to charge me. That'd be yeah, that would, an inch charge. Yeah, yeah. That would not be good for So you. that way I just take firepower away from this unit potentially. Oh, I do get a miracle die, by the way. That's sure. somewhat important. And I can re-roll it critically, and I will, because that's a two. And you and got that's a one. A one, hot. <laughs> that's what you like to see. Well, that's what you like to see. <laughs> I do like to see that. Yeah. That is for sure. Um, well. <laughs> okay. Yes. Let's start shifting this unit back, because I know they're not going to do very much damage. Shift, shift, shift. So I'm going to just, they're 24 inch range, so I'm just going to walk back. I could go after the mortifiers, but honestly, I probably won't be doing very much damage at all. Okay. While you're walking back, we got a $5 super chat from Lyle Dixon. Lyle! This is his match that he wanted to see, and he says, I don't get off work until 2, but I'm excited to watch Jack and see <laughs> fight over me. All right. So Celestine is the one with 6-inch heroic? Yes. Anything else that can heroic? Mm, no. They, they can normal. heroic. They can, the, they can heroic, Can yes. they do 6? No. Okay. Because I might go for a little cheeky rap play on this rhino. Oh, with my scarabs, and honestly, that's like, that's a little bit of fun, because I can if I can slow down the flamers, I should be able to control this objective for a bit longer. Okay, okay, I like it. So I'm gonna go for that, because I definitely won't kill the rhino. With what six six scarabs? Five. Five scarabs. Uh, if you'd said six, I would. So I'll scared. make the charge move, and then I'll do it. Can you do any sort of charge move shenanigans? And not if you stay outside six assaults. Yeah, I'm gonna. With the charge, I'm going to come here, and then with and then the pylons, pylons yeah. consolidates, wrap around. I'll be honest, did not see that. Didn't see that coming, <laughs> baby. Didn't see that in the car. Necrons! <laughs> Still, I, I'm, I think I should be thanking you, but I'm not 100% sure. And it just makes sense if I'm not going to go for damage. But I want to slow down those flamers from doing stuff to me. Doing flamery things? Yeah, because they're, they're pretty scary. I don't know, maybe. And that's I... why they're in Jack's list. <laughs> They, they smack. They smack real hard. <laughs> and I just want to leave a space here where the Catan can move into, because you it, is that the only thing that was in range? There's a character in range. Oh, I, I can't target the character. But everybody else is 32.1 away, this one's. Uh, Zephyr just, are out, or, yeah. are in, but I meant I yeah, just go ahead measured and them out before. Yeah, yeah. We know we want it, so it's just this squad, correct? Just them, and okay. then a character that you can't You can just hold it over the closest point. Ding. So I just need to come into this gap here. Cool. Got it. So I got that opened up. Going to shift the warriors. So this middle unit is completely hiding, not touching the terrain. All right. 
And then I'm going to try and limit the damage that this unit can take. But first, I'll move the Catan up so that they can sky falling stars over that way and into those mortifiers. All right, all right, all right, all right. Move the lords up. He's that intercepting. And finally, this unit, it'll probably do some plink shots into the mortifiers since I'll get to do a little bit of damage into them. So let's just measure the closest. 24 inches and move back that way. Let's come back like so. Our man wants to use his res orb, huh? I do want to use the res orb to get back on objectives in my command phase. <laughs> that is how Necrons like to do yes. their shenanigans. Necron just, shenanigans just are... Just trying to get an angle where you're not getting a lot of extra shots on here. The mortifiers, of course, will. Got it. But forcing Jack to put more resources out. Just like need to survive for as long as possible here. Okay, I think that is all good. I'm going to spend a command point to switch out uh, Cosmic Fire for Sky of Falling Stars on the uh, other Katan. Okay. So that I have two copies of it now. And I think that is going to be all for that. Raised one, two, three, four banners. And should be an end then with that intercepting over there. Good. All right, all right, all right. All right, here we go. Sky of Falling Stars. We'll start on the uh, Sacristans. I need to roll a not a six, so I do. D3 mortals to them. Gonna be just one. Bink. Okay. Which is actually not bad because I have the second copy of it. So it makes it a little easier. Um, and then the mortifiers doesn't do it. Okay. I have to roll under under your number of models. So we'll just go with the second one. Alright, need to roll a one, two, or three. Yep. Onto the sacristans. Good. Uh, how many? Two. Two. Yeah. Okay. That could have and certainly then the been mortifiers, worse. Mortifiers, I don't roll under them. Okay. So we'll just go into the shooting. The couple of these uh, warriors that couldn't get out. Let's see. Nope, I actually got them out. Of, I tried to bring them as far back as possible, so I actually got them out. They could, like three of them can shoot at this rhino. So I'll just do that. Oh man, with the combat too? Two hits. Nothing. Cool. Okie doke. And then the warriors over there are going to give up their shooting so that they can successfully do the action. Love it. And let us, I think that's all good. So we'll make the charge move here. All right. Declaring the Rhino. Yep. And I auto pass my morale because lead nine from Draxos. Yep. No problem there. So six. Actually, I'm I think just, I might be lead nine anyway, but. I'm just going to stay outside of the forest. Well, the forest doesn't actually matter because they fly. And I'm going to stay outside of six inches. 6.1 yep. away. Good? Yeah. Looks good to me. Okie doke. And I'm just going to wrap you here. Boo. So we'll go ahead and do the pylons. Coward. Make this a little closer now. A little closer. Closer, closer, and he's going to be the one that just tags back there. Yep. All right, and that should pin you against the wall. So we're going, they actually have four attacks each, Jack. And oh, God. Auto wound on sixes. If you kill me, that would be so funny. If I roll nothing but sixes and you fail every three up armor save. That would be, be hilarious. We could be in trouble here. So sixes are going to, good. I didn't, I hit three other times. <laughs> what are you hitting on? Fours? Fours, yeah. Nothing. So two saves. Two oh, three armor saves. Can't die. One, One wound. damage, baby. It begins. And then, like I said, with the consolidate move, we're just going to tag behind yep. here. Ah. Boom. Base you. Base you, base you, base you. Yep. Cool. That'll pin me in. Okie doke. I just want to slow down the damage Jack can do. And that's going to be on to you, my friends. All right. So, I mean, I can get out here with the squad of dominions. I kind of want to take that objective. Make that difficult. Make that impossible. Yeah. Okay. Well then, uh, we're not doing that then. I, you can get back here. I don't care about that. It was just trying yeah, you not don't to wanna... go forward. So I want to peel up as many banners I'll as possible. I want to kill them off as many objectives as possible because he's data intercepting. Don't love it. Speaking of which, data intercept. Bink! Right there yep. in the corner. I'm going to give you a little node. A little. So that we see where it's happening. A little nugget. What am I going to vol buff? What Zephyr? is. Zephyrum, possibly? They, they do like now getting reroll wounds again. They kind of love it, yeah. That's a five on the charge. Will I kill the whole unit? If you don't shoot me. If I don't shoot you, the average is that I don't quite kill them. Well, it's super close. Um, and I don't like things that are super close. You love things that are super close. Things you know that could swing right on them. Oh man, that could just swing so hard <laughs> against me. I just, I freaking love it. It's amazing. <laughs> Please, more of that actually. But let's do the, uh... yeah, we're gonna vol buff him. What's the pink die from? 
That's my miracle die. Oh, that's oh yeah, yeah. That's, that is true. That is yep. <laughs> that's a, a one. Rolled a two. Rolled it into a one. Baby. A one is At better. Least a one is better. One is better than a two, believe it Let's or go not. For uh, so we are going to move these guys up so they can see these little little gems. Yep, no problem. Do you want to touch the forest? Yeah, I don't want to hit on the forest. All right, so we'll take the minus two. All right, I just need a four to get in. Make that a three. Mm -hmm. So they're going to shoot there, try and pick up your two little piddly guys. Those are crypto thralls. Yeah, good for them. John knows about the crypto thralls. He knows they just happen to survive, baby. <laughs> the two sacrosincts are going to come out. Yep, they're going to be what tries to take this objective from you. Nice. A little charge move consolidates. Yep. Get on there. Take, Pick that up. Take, take the banner. Yeah, at least you don't, even if I don't take it away from you, even if I don't take the banner, you at least won't get data intercept, and you at least won't get points for it, because yeah. you weren't on it in the command phase. Yeah, I did not control it in my command phase. Thank you, Bobby. All right, so I think the Zephyrm are going to... Get the buff? They, they did get the buff, yeah. yes. First things first is the easiest, and that is Mortifiers all going to touch sure. cover in here, just to see through it and shoot up these, these fine fellas. Those are scarabs. Those gentlemen. They are fine gentlemen. They are fine gentlemen. Gentlemen scarabs. Um, and Sky Falling Stars is 24, right? 24. Now, if you feel like exposing your fellas, then you can do it. So we're going to get out... We're actually going to get out the Retributors, I think, because they're not actually that great in this matchup. And they just... Will the, the Melted ones, right? The Melted ones, yeah. yeah. And they'll just... Uh, well, they're going to advance because they can advance and shoot like normal. Yep, there you go. It's a six. Hey, 15 inches. Not like I'm using all of it, but uh, there you go. So they're going to go behind that ruin. Yep. They're going to go there. They're going to get within 12 inches to just roast and toast your fellows. I don't think they'll have a problem with that. No, I uh, <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> you could roll a lot of ones. I have yeah. rolled a lot of ones in the past. Because that'll be only three damage, and I'll be able to, uh, four, with four wounds, survive. And I'm just going to try and make it awkward to, to target them. They're not going in cover. Yeah, I assume they're not touching. Yep. Okie doke. The Mortarizers are. Mortar Flyers. What else we got? We got Celestine moving up. She also wants to uh, make a charge. She's a bully unit. She likes being a bully. And this squad's gonna move. I'm just gonna move you outside of an inch. Thanks. Rules. Cool. All right, sisters, battle sisters coming up. Yep, she's gonna touch there. More of Inval. So she can shoot. <laughs> well, she can probably shoot them. Yeah. She's gonna go like that, shoot down range. Yeah. She can draw a line of sight to that model. Yep. I'm just looking to chip you a little. I'm not looking to chip you a lot because. Um, if I do, then you get to regen on objectives, and nobody enjoys that. Then I get 15s on primary. Yeah, That's I'm not a big for. fan of that. She's going to touch the wall, so she can see there for her psychic power to prevent your overwatch. Okay. And then, you know what? We're balling out. <laughs> Send in the Zephyrum? We're sending in the Zephyrum. What do you need for a charge there? I needed a 5. 5? Okay, cool. And That's why you pre-measure. Yep. yep. 100%. Do they have the pennant? They do not, they but do not it will cost that. me a CP if I want to... Uh, Roll that. Roll that. Okay. Jack has been uh, known for failing some close charges. It's Ooh, happened once or twice. <laughs> uh, I don't like love it if I'm being a hundred percent with you, <laughs> but you know whatever, it's fine. Uh, we are going to move our second squad up, even in range of falling stars, because whatever. I'm just, uh, it's just how I do. I mean, if they're sitting on your backfield objective, at what point? Are they pointless? Yeah. She's touching the wall as well. All right, so the... Uh, Dialogus. The Dialogus. Okay, right. Well, these guys should be dead. You <laughs> would the amount of firepower... I feel like the scary... Yes, I've traded them so that they would die. Yes. If they don't die, oh my god. <laughs> you could desperate break out the rhino. I thought about it, roll and the then one, I baby. stopped thinking about it really, 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 one, really, really fast. So sweet. So sweet. Um... And then we're just going to, speaking of rhinos, doing rhino things, we're just going to have this rhino scoodly doot up the board right there. Charge that one too, I dare you. 
All right, I probably will. Yeah, you probably will. You, you <laughs> sick. I probably will, sick honestly. Sick man. <laughs> like, why wouldn't I, you? I've got it in for these rhinos. I know you do. You do a All lot right. of damage in shooting. Psychic phase. Prevent their overwatch. Yep. You just need a six. Uh, I need a five. That's she not a She has a free reroll. That doesn't. Stopped. Oh, Jag was sweating. I, I re-rolled it before I could start to sweat because I, I knew once I... It's just... I know what happens here. <laughs> So. We're going to fire our multi-melters into your scarabs. Sure thing. That's going to be eight multi-melters. hi -ya. All hit. Cool. I feel like I'm going to be okay Wound on here. twos. Wound on twos with a free reroll off of Argent Shroud. All right. Go no ahead saves. and roll the damage one at a time. Doesn't kill one, so alive, the next one kills one. dead. Dead. Alive. Dead. dead. Alive. Dead. Dead. And dead. All right. So you killed one. Two, three, four, and that's the fifth one. Yep, I have heavy bolters to back it up, well, but I luckily I don't need to. There's five here. All right, I got to expose some extra resources. Yeah, well, the I want to take the objective and, and do stuff like that, so. Yep. I think I'm going to look to chip one model because one model won't lengthen my charge. So you're going to shoot. So first thing, we're going to fire one bolt pistol at Dio. Hits. Does not wound. Okay, shoot all the mortifiers into me. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna fire a storm bolter here, and we're gonna fire the hunter killer missile at that guy there. Okay. Hunter, hunter killer kill. missile hits, wounds. AP two. These guys. Yeah, these guys here. Okay, fails it. I have two wounds. Two two wounds. All right. So on double fives, he stands back up. No. Nope. I will take the guy who's closer. Okay. Just uh, the. The missiles aren't particularly good in this matchup. Honestly, you'll just shoot me. Whatever. Yeah, I can shoot you anyway, either shoot. way. So, and then storm bolters. Okay, I'm. Putting on fours. I'm gonna choose to reroll that one. Whoops. Oops, sorry. Jack is knocking the dice off. Uh, okay, so one guy dies. All right. Does he stand Here back up? I got to pull him first. So pull that guy. And rerolling ones because he's a warrior. He does come back. All right, cool. So I will just put him on a, since it doesn't change the charge move. I'll just put another model back yep. on the objective. No, nope. I was trying to purposely trying to avoid killing more than one model. Yep. Because that's the point where it would suck. Um. Cool, 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 cool. Mortifiers. They're gonna shoot. They love shooting. It's kind of their whole bag. bag. Every one of them is gonna shoot this. Don't do it. Come on, I split fire at least. Put one there. No. <laughs> no. I know how this goes. <laughs> Celestine's gonna flamer him. Okay. We're gonna start with that first. Six hits. Toughness? Five. Threes. That many minus twos. Her flamer got good. It does fail enough. I, it's two damage. Minus two? Yeah. Okay. They have yeah. two ups? No, I did. I. He's gone. Oh, okay. Um, does he. Yeah, he's just gone. No, there's, okay. There's no reanimation. There's no. I'm used to reanimation just being feel no pain. Yeah. We have a question for the chat? It's two damage, right? Uh, yeah, we got a $20 super chat from NYC Tabletop. They wanted to say thanks for visiting us at the Carcosa Club, Jack. Next RTT at the end of August, come by UFC that night. Beers on me next time. Oh boy, as much as I want to do that, I am now a 16 and a half hour drive plus a drive up. The, so it's like 17 and a half, 18 hour drive away. But the Carcosa Club is a great club in New York. I These had a great time. The Mortifiers, I just, they're just going to shoot you, man. Awesome. What, what are the squad divisions? You got this back here. You the got another one squad, squad you can't see. You can see this squad or the other squad. Oh. The other one's tucked behind that row. Well, my Mortifiers aren't doing anything right now. That's sad because I don't want to shoot them to deny my charge. So that's sad. <laughs> they're going to shoot here. Cool. These guys down here can't see like any models out there? No, no it doesn't look like it. No. All right, we're just going to shoot them. Okay. Big shoot for fun, guys. Big shoot. No rerolls, right? No rerolls, just shots down range. And then threes to wounds. Nice heavy bolters. Yeah, that was good. Okay. AP1. AP1. All right, five ups. So take the successes out. Three. And then they're all one damage each, right? Mm hmm. Or two damage each. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. So. Yep, yeah, okay. Seven. Um. <laughs> Let's see what that charge is like. So Celestine, having her come up next to the Nightbringer would honestly not be the worst thing in the world. So could pull the back models and then string up this way if I roll well in reanimations. Yeah, it's worth it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
right? Fives are rolling ones. We roll one. So I'm going to oh bring my. back four of them. Okay. Jack, you need to keep a tally of how many you killed. That's right. So I killed, you got back four? You killed seven, and I got back four. And I got back one over there as well. Yep. So you killed eight so far. Well, I killed five that aren't on the board. They count if you kill them. Even if they come back. Right, I'm counting which ones are not on the board, and then if I wipe your oh, whole okay. army, then I just add that much to the total. Okie doke. So five so far. So put one there. Put one there. Put one there. Why are you doing this? Not enough to get on the objective just yet. Maybe I'll shoot you some more, I don't know. Okay. You are letting these guys shoot you now. Yeah, I'll accept that. Okay, they're, they're gonna shoot you. Okay. Because I don't know when to quit. <laughs> you can't make me learn. <laughs> are they in range? Oh, they may not be. <laughs> uh, two of them are. All right, I'll go put him like so. And so one of them is. Okay. A close one. One is fine with me. Because that might give me the one model I need. Yeah, to I'm, I'm good, actually. <laughs> Are you good? If you're only giving me one model, what the heck's the point, you know? You just need to kill one to get me back on the objective. <sighs> why, do we, why do you do this? Come on. Do you have it. to take a leadership check at minus seven or minus three? Uh, no, minus three, which is not, because I'm plus one leadership for my generic warlord trait, baby. Rulebook warlord traits. <sighs> Whatever, dog. I'll Better kill, than the I'll kill ones. them later. Okay. Cool. Somehow I'm going to fail to kill these guys, too, which is going to not be fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, not, that's not even somehow. Like, that could just happen. All right, so... All right. No other shooting charge? I assume the five-inch charge that you need? Yep, uh, the five-inch charge that I need with a CP. Got it. Okay. I saw that one first. Yep. I'll be honest, was sweating. He's ignoring Overwatch. Oh, I need to give them... Beginning of this phase, for one CP, I'm going to give them the plus one attack. Sure. Because I can just do that right now. Yep, no worries. You actually can't do it in the command phase because of rules. All right. All right, Zephyrim doing Zephyrim stuff. Which is probably leaving one alive, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, here, we're going to charge with Celestine. Cool, made it. Uh, if Nightbringer wants to expose himself to kill the first half of Celestine, that is fine by me. So we're going to go right there. They're going to charge in. Got it. There's the mortifiers. Mortifiers. All right. Vol's going to charge. So. And the sacrosants. The sacrosants are charging as well. That's See, fine. They, they got it. it. <laughs> All right. So now Celestine's going to have to go yeah, on the objective. Yeah. Yeah, no well, that's all right. So she'll activate last. Yep. I think you should have enough. They're going to go first. <laughs> Yep. Go How first. many dice? They have five attacks apiece. Okay. Six on the sergeant? Six on the sergeant. Two, three, four. Any other five, strats? Six. You're using? That's what I'm debating right now. I think I want sixes to hit or auto wounds. And then I'm debating Just if I want plus one. I can't I can't have these guys left alive. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> we're we're going plus one to wound, sixes to hit auto wound. Okay, so now they're, are they strength four or five? They're strength four. Strength four, so, so they're now wounding they're on threes, threes re-rolling. Yep, that's much more so reliable. So threes to hit. And sixes are, are auto wounds? Sixes are auto so wounds and out. are an extra hit. All right, so I'm going to put those over here. Okay, so you get four wounds and four extra hits. So four auto wounds, then these go back into the yep. pool. and then you're wounding on threes re-rolling. That's right, this does not feel like enough dice. Somehow, all right, that's all right. You really didn't roll many sixes. No, I really, that's what it was. <laughs> I bit the sixes pretty hard. Do sixes do anything here? Nope. Okay. I, yep, that's bad. Okay, four, four more dice. Four more dice. wounded with them. Yeah, you probably don't kill the warrior unit here, but maybe I have rolled very few invulns before. Let's see if I can do it. That's not that very That was few. not, no, that, that was, was not like half. <laughs> all right. So. That many, so you're going to kill 4, 8, 12, 15? 15? Okay. Yeah. And oh. it's at max strength. So it was secretly just a ploy. Can you fight twice with them? No. So I can just leave my obsec on you there? You can just leave the obsec on the objective, yes. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. How many did I kill, you said? 
15? 15, you killed So there's five left, because you got your one yep. guy left. I was all set for you to live by one, and then I whine about the guy who lived <laughs> through the shooting, but it's okay. And I can reanimate back onto the objective. So let's just start pulling well, the I, that don't matter okay. to. Yes. Four, five. This, this happens before you get to consolidate, to be clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. So I'll, get, I'll be able to get back on. But I'm deciding whether I want to just pull these ones out of range, because I really want the res orb. That feels a lot more powerful to me than uh, just having the one turn of extra extra 15. What's that? Yeah. So five. All right, we're ready to kill some Necron, man. So I'm just trying to max uh, no prisoners. That's really what this is. I'm going to take myself off, because I'd rather the safety play of having uh, the res orb on them. All right. Do your reanimations. Yep. Is... Five. Just make sure I pulled enough. Ten. And actually pulled one extra model, sorry. It's okay. Leave him there. Okie doke. Here's, here's when you don't resurrect any models and die to coherency. Well, I'm in, I'm five models. Oh! <laughs> I'm in perfect, I've undone myself. I'm in perfect coherency, my man. So, here we go. One, two, and three. So, five re-rolling ones here. All right, that's going to bring back one, two, three, four, five. All right. That should be enough to get back on the objective, no problem. Well, now you have to be coherent, but yes, probably. Yes. You can't be within an inch of me, right? Uh, yes, I can come back into an inch. That one has to be Actually, I have to, I believe you're correct, I have to leave one here, so one of these guys has to be gone. All right. I have to stay inside. So no, one guy to... would have to go back there to be in coherency, and then one, two. Each model, you, oh, whatever. It's yeah. Fine. So, because he would be within two of that guy when Got I it. place him. I think that should be good. Okay. Okie doke. We're just going to wrap your model here. Yep, that's fine. Ah, my models are falling over. Why? I'm going to just swing back against you. Yeah, go for it. I mean, uh, well, no, let me, let me, go ahead and do your combat. Let me do Vol first. Yep. Vol. I don't oh. think you can wrap that. Oh, it doesn't matter. And then twos, four rerolls, uh, one mortal wound, and then five AP3-3 three, three damage. So AP3-3 three, three damage. So, so just one dies, two, two dies, dies, and one in a mortal. From and the six three to one. Flat three? Flat three. So that means three guys die right there. So pull the three models that die. I'm going to pull the ones that Celestine wants to activate against. Can you just pull that one out of there? Yeah. Well, the mortifier, pull those two. I'm leaving these ones next to the two Sacrosins. And then on fours, one, two. On fours? Uh, fives, I mean. Do I get a base back? No. No. Cool. Yeah, they don't reroll ones. Cool, cool, cool. So there's just two left. All right, Celestine is going to get in. No matter what, does Celestine do what she want? So I'm just going to leave it so that I can go three inches back onto the objective yeah. with Celestine. Yeah. I mean, if you're dead, but you should be dead. If I'm dead, here we You're go. Dead, Celestine, doing Celestine stuff. No mortal wounds. Sad. Twos. These are two damage apiece. One, two. Okay. Empty a bunch. So they go down. Yep. One, two. If I got one base back, that would have been huge. Yeah, it would have been. Luckily, we do not well, live in that. She has now. to go towards the nearest enemy. She, she has to end closer. There we go, like that. Okay. Then remember, there's a unit right here. Yep. Oh, and Vol can do that, and then these guys can go activate, and then pile in like out here so I can touch this terrain next turn. Mm -hmm. All right, I can swing now? Yep. So let's meet these guys. I want to touch terrain. Let me touch terrain. One. Three. Yeah, he'll be able to get no. Oh, well, he can get within half. Oh, the I killed the unit in shooting, and I killed the unit in combat. So I'm just gonna roll those up real fast. Four and a five. Couldn't re-roll them, so it's good. I got good dice. Stay like so, and these guys will be at max coherency, so that I stay within range of the Lord. And that means five guys, six guys are swinging. So, six guys swinging into you. They're rerolling ones. Okay, all hit. Oh, five more guys came back out of that unit. 
One, two, three. And then threes to wounds. So you're looking at that many saves, no AP. This many saves. Three ups. One dies. Cool. So that's a full point on the, uh, on the, the secondary that I got there. That's extra, that's not even on the board, because they mm -hmm. rest. Ten models. All right, leadership checks, please. And yep. then pull yourself out of the, the wrap. Four, yep. Thank I you. lost uh, ten. Uh, so that means you're below half now. And I'm a leadership 11, so yep, I fail. So pull that guy. And then there's nine guys left. Correct? That's right. Nine, and two more die. All right. Okay. All right, all right, all right. This is guy is touching, so I'm gonna pull. Well, it's <laughs> good you only lost two, because you can't pull out of combat. Yeah, one. Luckily. And <laughs> did I pull? Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that guy. Okay. Is that coherency out of them? No, I can't pull that guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, this guy. Okay. All right. Yeah, still doing work on them. You know. Okay. They're in range to be resorbed. Yes, and that's, that's why I'm keeping that guy. Got it. All right, let's get this out of here. Uh, you were out of range of the objective while I was on it, so do you lose your banners? No, I'm three guy. Three guys were touching. I pulled two of them. That one guy is touching. Oh, the one guy that. Yes, the one. This. Guy oh, there was one guy in combat with me. Exactly. Then you died out. Exactly. Came back in, came so you back still in. have the objective exactly. and everything. And fifteen points. What a cool fella. <laughs> uh, you don't have fifteen. You get ten. You don't have more than me. One, two, three. Oh, because you touched that. Yeah, yep. I forgot you touched that. Yep. Okay, so ten. Yep. And I will get one, two, three for data intercept. That is correct. Okie doke. Uh, no other morales. See, making you use your res orb. Banners, he gets a three. And did you get stranglehold last tournament? Uh, yes. I did Easily. not get stranglehold. You did not, I did. Barely. <laughs> Okie doke. So points. I am going to gain a command point, go back up to ten, and now let's see what we can do. So with the resorb, all I have to do, if I get a decent amount of models, I can get Jack off this one too. So almost certainly going to do it this turn because I once again it's just all about the point swings. I got a ten. That's a very solid on vital intelligence. If I can give Jack uh, a zero, which is eminently possible then uh, he's going to be in a points hole. And he missed uh, Stranglehold the, next, uh, the previous turn, so if I can just try and deny it the next turn, I should be in a reasonable enough spot. It also just means I, I can get extra. Did you take a leadership check on them? I uh, only lost three after mm. reanimations. Mm -hmm. Leadership 11. Yeah, yeah, I see where you're coming from. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the ones that died don't count if they reanimate. Got it. Okay, only the ones Those that are the same died. ones standing back exactly. up, just in a different spot. Yeah. OK. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Now, Celestine being annoying over here. We've got Sacristans here. Yep, Sacristans. Obsex Sisters. Mm -hmm. And what's in this Rhino? Dominions. Five Dominions? Okay. So Dominions shoot a lot. They do. It's kind of their favorite thing, actually. Yeah, I think we have to go with the Res Orb. Beginning here. of the battle round, I get a Miracle Die. I'm going to reroll that. Into a two. Into a two. Look at that. Hot stuff. Where'd you get the four and five from? Killing something in the shooting phase and killing something in the yep. combat phase. Yep. So, Jack remembered to screen. I did. <laughs> so I'm not Nick. Because <laughs> I'd love to just deny data intercept. But that is going to be very, very difficult. Not impossible, though. Not impossible. Because I can fall back and shoot, fall back, shoot, and charge with that unit. And potentially with reanimations come up in this area, make the charge here, pylons and consolidates get me on that way. Can you can fall back and charge? Yep, Royal Warden. Ooh. It's both. That's why it's good. I think that's the play. This is the safer play of just tagging here, though. Uh, I don't want to be in a points hole. <laughs> I want to put you right in the points hole. <laughs> You're gonna shoot me a lot next turn. Yes. So if I could tie up the rhinos again, that would be nice while getting on that objective, which is very difficult. Uh, does, does she do anything crazy in combat, this character? Nope. No, she does not. All right. Well, let's go ahead and we're going to 
come up, shoot you quite a bit with these guys. Overexposing my army doesn't feel great. Um, Please let me kill your uh, Katana. I really need to... Let me do it. I want to do it. It's really the OBSEC warriors that are more my concern here. The Katan can die over time. I think we go with the safe play and just not try and be too crazy here. Just go we after another, this, uh, give you a zero for that. Another question? So. Uh, yeah, we got a $5 super chat from Tim Pinney. Tim! Also, his name is also Tom Pony. I've heard, yeah. Uh, it's a surprise to s surprise to not see a dogmata for obsec in this list. How does this list score any primary against dark Eldar witch spam? Kill all of them. <laughs> the killing power. Oh, uh, and then just my, don't overthink it. They're T. They're T three or the six of easy. My protocol, the ability right. to uh, set to defend, uh, if I want to. Got it. I mean, he is correct. Dogmatic here would have made a huge difference. Um, I'm going to use the orb. But, you know, working out the list. The, the reason that I've done the Dialogus is because she, uh, right now with the Warlord trait, gives plus one invuln to both Baldy Rose and Argent Shroud, because she's sanctified. Yeah. All right, what's going on here? Orb. Fours. Unit. We rolling ones. We roll ones. Uh, all right, the unit's what? Back to, <laughs> the unit's back to max. <laughs> well, there's two guys missing. Thank you. Jeez. It's almost back to max. How many did you get back? You got back nine? Yeah, so it's at 18. <laughs> I think you have to roll one more. What? 11. No. Oh, yeah, sorry, down, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you got to roll one more. There's one more, sorry. Doesn't. Ha! So, but it's at 18. I, yeah, I... <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, so dun, I dun, 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 dun. No. Um, I'm almost at two whole points that aren't on the board for... Right, so let's see where we can go with Within the ranks or whatever it's called. So we can do a lot with nine. So this is your only res orb, right? This is the only res orb, but this is a good one. It's not <laughs> bad, <laughs> if, uh, if you want to be accurate with that. Remember coherency. Yeah, I know. I'd have to come here and then start going around. So let me go see what it would look like. One model would touch there, and then come like so, and then just go around you. Just want to see what kind of charge I would have to go that way because denying your data intercept is much better than just getting you off this one. Yes. Let you hold this one and get there. Range of two. Be in range of two. And two more guys. Necrons are a very technical army. Alright, so I'll just come a little closer because I don't want to charge the mortifiers. Are you sure? Be a five inch charge and Honestly, that should get me in a pretty good... That's before I even move. Remember, so. all these guys can heroic. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't care less if I'm going to come this way. Because they're only heroic three, right? That's right. Yeah, so I can just charge in here and consolidate around. I, you said she's not scary in combat. Draxus can hit a little, but not that bad. No. It would just mean I get more models on that mm -hmm. side. So. Well, they're dead next They're just dead anyway, so yeah. I'm not worried about not being at max. So we're going to go there, and that's going to be super safe. Fall back and shoot on them. Fall back and charge. And Jack faced the Eternity Orb, John. A unit that was at eight models is now at eight. 17. <laughs> and they lived with five. So they, lived with, they went from five back up to 17 like it was nothing. <laughs> All right. Average. Mm -mm -mm. So. Whatever, I'm playing the long game, and the long game is you being dead. I could get the 15, because this is in my command phase. And I could just put enough models over here. I just don't think, I think this play is better. Um, I agree, but I'm not happy about it. Because <laughs> <laughs> denying data intercept is just so, you, you start getting zeros on that and also force and jack and just be on this side. All right, we'll stay with that. And they're gonna also, this unit's gonna be the, which unit wants to get the invuln? They're just dead. They don't need the invuln. So I'm gonna put it on this unit right here. Ooh, spicy. Because I think I'll keep pushing away with them. Because I think I trade the scarabs onto this objective instead. Okay. Because I can be outside of 6.1 6 by touching here, correct? Yep. Good? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I could have gotten further up, unfortunately. No, that was because I pulled the models there and you had to come back before coming onto the objective. So yeah, I think that's fine. Um, and then reroll ones, we'll do it on them because then I'm going to actually do damage with them. So okay. Hopefully pick off those... Uh, What's that from? Okie doke. I think that's fine. Yeah, something's got to kill the Zephyrum. Something's got to kill the Zephyrum. 
That's good. Okie doke. Let's go with moving them. So they get plus one from being next to the Lord. So they move six inches. And just tell me, if Draxus is right here? Yeah. Yeah, she's right She there. doesn't benefit from the bodyguard rule, right? No, she benefits from character rule. Yeah, so I could just be closer to her? Yeah, you can shoot her. Okay. I think that's actually worth it. If you could just kind of put her up top. So she's like right here? Yep. Okay. So I just need to be a little farther from the rhino in that case. So, like so. I think actually killing her would be super awesome to get rid of your uh, ability to ignore overwatch. Oh, six inches there. And... Without the ability to go Overwatch, I have set it up that I have my 5-up Overwatch turn. On this turn? Yep. Okay. Ability to set to defend. She's in cover for however little that matters. It's AP2, right? She, yeah, she's there's four what, four guys closer? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, four. It's not much. Like, I'm not banking on this actually happening. But if you charge me, you could kill me. It's possible. It's possible. Unlikely as well, though. And okay. the rest are just going to rip these. Try and make I'd rather make sure that the Zephyrum die and don't jump into my backfield than kill a bunch of stuff. Uh, data intercepting over here again. With the Royal Warden? Yep. Okay. Uh, do you have anything else? that You have a one unit of Zephyrum in Deep Strike, correct? That is correct, yes. And so we'll just go ahead and shift them back to screen out. Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't. And then he will come... They're going to be gone, so this unit will actually have to come out, and that's why I put the 5 up invuln on them. Uh, the Scarab Friends, he's an 11. Can't actually get to the spot, so CP reroll. Get a 5. That'll do it. Yep. <laughs> I needed that, so now I don't have to twist these warriors on the objective. I can just trade the three Scarabs. So outside of your heroic range, come over here. Yep. Cool. No yep. obsec on them. No obsec. All right. That is perfect. Then we are going to shift these guys back. So the other warrior unit. <laughs> I think I have to go and just do. Yeah, what you got, Charlie? Uh, you got a super chat from King Hep for five pounds. It says, "Siegs unleash robotic might against these pitiful meat bags." <laughs> <laughs> I am trying. Yeah. So with the invuln. Come out, try and shoot them away. This, this shooting is just scary, but you're going to hit me anyway because you can I can shoot. run up and touch that. Exactly. Yeah. You're going to hit me anyway, so I'm going to come out. This is just, a case of the I hope you hadn't seen that, but you did. Yeah. yeah. So just get more redundancy out here. Six inches that way. And come out like so. And this way, this you can also make a charge move potentially. Yep. Into okay. these rhinos and wrap them. Wrap what them is up. up with you and wrapping these rhinos? You, you shoot really hard. I, I do. <laughs> you shoot really hard, Jack. And I, it's not nice. <laughs> it's not a nice thing to do to me. Uh, I thought it was nice. I think it's very nice. <laughs> but in this case, I'm going to save the longer range unit. So you're going to run up the board and you're going to just try and get in my face again. Yep. It Be like, again, Jack, you can't kill this. Just try and slow it down and have one more unit to interact the following turn. And hopefully I put you in a, a, such a points deficit that it's... Put me where? Okay. Points deficit. Points hole? Points hole. One might say. <laughs> Jack does like the points hole. All right. So I just need to be in this spot to target them, potentially target these ones. And once again, you put these all the way on the far side of the objective. Yep. So I have to be out. So I'm going to ignore them then. I have a couple models touching cover so they can shoot that way. But... Once again, not expecting to kill the multi meltas and multi meltas are overkill against my warriors. I mean, they still there's still kill. Like overkill is kill. There's still kill. It's still kill. I don't, you know, I just have to accept that. So they're gonna just come up, not touch the terrain, but have the targets of uh, those those units. Okay. okay. And we've got Nemesis Nick. Oh boy. Nemesir Nick is going to set up for Deuce. There's Strike. one guy I don't want to lose to. <laughs> Nemesir Nick is not. <laughs> it's the, Nemesir Nick. The Chronomancer is going to come up and tag the terrain so that I can shoot at this. Oh, with your. Uh, Tropic Lance, baby. It went up 10 points. I'm still taking it because we're going to get tropical. It costs right. money to go to the tropics. Uh, Looking forward to it, bud. Stay within three of him. And the other unit. 
Let me just see. Where's that? Just do a little more this way. Uh, do 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 do. Right there. Yeah. Swing, swing, so swing them like that. And then I assume you want to put in range of four for the second one. Yes. Okay. The other one's going to get closer and be right. And you're good. Here. Yeah. Okie doke. Um, these models can come back, and I'm just going to potentially have shooting this way because I don't really. I've seen Jack roll Zephram. Charges before. Charges or, or saves? A, a shoot, a saves. Sa Zephyrm saves. The problem is it peters out right as they die. So like, <laughs> <laughs> right, they come in, then they big dead. And then you're going to hide back here. Cool. Not touching. Yep. Yep, yep. All right. I think that is all good. So we'll go into the Sky of Falling Stars phase. Sure, sure, sure. And we'll start by going with the close model, of course. Uh, the one that has less targets, potentially. So target one here, target two there, and then the third target, I guess, is... Uh, let's do Celestine's unit. Boo! So which one are you doing now? So I'm going to go left to right. Got all it. All the way around. So all right. Sacristance. Negative. Other unit. Negative. Oh. Positive. Positive. Two you mortals. Too. You have to take it on bodyguards. I, I, I do, yes. Right. So I'm thinking I'm, I'm going... to just resolve the next one. Yep. So Positive. does do it on the Sacristans, two die. The Battle Sisters does do it. Three die, the Battle Sisters. And then Celestine, one or two, does get it. Three, kills the other Gemini, wounds Celestine. What the heck is going on right now? <laughs> Popping off, baby. Popping off. Okay. Well, I was all set up to like <laughs> hit you with a six inch row. I saw, I saw, <laughs> I saw. Okay, um, I think that's good. That was, that's your wounds. Hold on, let me, uh... Okie doke, we will go with uh, the shooting. So let's start with the unit that only has the tar one target. They'll shoot into the Zephyrum. Okay. All of them see with no, this? No, uh... not all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? All right, hit me. Four. Once again, it's just a little extra redundancy. Hitting on threes. And then strength four, winning on threes. That many AP ones. There's Ooh. two more. One's already dead, so there's two left. That should be pretty comfortable for the Goss Reapers. Should hopefully. be, yeah. I would hope so. Would you like to shoot with your uh, Royal Warden? Uh, I don't think he can see. He also is doing an action. Yeah, but no, he can't see anyway. <laughs> but no, I would not. My bait didn't work. <laughs> uh, let's Chronomans, let's uh, shoot these guys. So I can't target Celestine, correct? Yep. Because she's blocked by them? That's correct. OK. So most of them are going to go this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just peel them off. <laughs> most of them are going to go that way. So 12 inch range. So uh, the front model. So the back two guys can't shoot there. OK. OK. Then from this angle, I think only those guys can. OK. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys are going to shoot here. Got it. That means two are going to shoot into them. OK. And then one is, and then the remaining one, two, three, four, five, six, six are going to shoot at, I don't want to, they're minus one to hit, and I don't want to spend the CP on them, so I'll just shoot at this Rhino. Okay. All right, so let's resolve the nine guys first. Six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Here we go, into our friend uh, Celestine over there, oh, no, uh, the second those out. Okay. Winning on threes. AP2. AP2. Yes. Four ups. All good. Okay. Not ideal. And then... Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. We will go with the... Uh, was it five or six guys over there? Into One, the two, rhino? Three, four, five, six. Oh uh, yeah, these guys. Into the rhino. Got it. Somehow you're going to kill this rhino by like shooting it and charging it and shooting so it and charging seven it. guys, four, eight, 12, 14 shots into the rhino. Okay. Okay, two misses. And then uh, wounding on fives. So you're looking at three AP2 saves. Three five ups. One. Okay. And then four shots coming at the Zephyr over there from up top. All hit. Threes. Three saves. Three saves. Three AP2s on the Zephyrum. So the Zephyrum's going to go down. Okie doke. 
we will now... They will be replaced next turn with another squad of Zephyrum. <laughs> Um, so that was that unit. We have this unit here. It's going to auto wound on sixes. Okay. Oh, you're trying to kill Draxus, yeah. No. Um, all the other ones have to shoot either. I just want a max efficiency here. Yeah, basically. gotcha. So, so four guys who can shoot the retributors, or three guys. Okay. This guy's supposed to be touching. Yep. So three guys that way. Hit me. And four guys that way. And there are uh, seven, 17 or 18? 17. 17. So that's three, seven, ten guys into the Rhino. Got it. That's the only target. I guess the Mortifiers are a target. Let me see how many are in range of the Mortifier. Probably not a ton. No, not those guys. And Splitting Fire doesn't really help, so we'll just go there. Got it. Oh, no, we don't. We want to make that charge move. Go in here. <laughs> if you kill silly. the Rhino with, don't like, three silly. guys? Don't be silly. Are you worried about killing the Rhino? So... Uh, of the guys, yeah, one, two, three, four. Four go this way, four there, three here, and then the remaining five guys that way. Got it. Okay. So the remaining, we'll do the five guys first. It's going to be ten shots. There we go, into the rhino. Got it. Six is auto wound. Rerolling ones from the lord. Okay. One auto wound. And they're hitting on twos, or no? Uh, no, I don't have the plus one. Got it. That's a, an overlord that does that. Fives on there, nothing. So just one AP2. Nope. Takes one. Making okay. me have to keep track of all the this. The three guys? I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to take up all the dice so I don't get any miracle the, the dice. The three that are shooting at the retributors, you're rolling ones. Uh, no sixes. And wounding on threes. So you're looking at four AP2s on the retributors that are back there. Three die. Three die. Okay. And then the four into Draxus. There we go. Don't do it. We're rolling ones, no sixes. Three ones, two sixes, two wounds. They all hit. Wounding on threes. Okay. Honestly, re-roll on one of those. So take me down a command point. I have okay. exactly five wounds. Oh yeah, you don't have four. Whatever. Okay, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I'll fail all of these probably. <laughs> Uh, minus two, I'm in cover, so I have a four up right now. Oh, I'm gonna spend, if you're in, in cover, I'm spending a CP to ignore cover. Well, I live. Okay. On one. Well, charge move can do it. Charge move definitely can. Okie doke, and then the remaining guys, uh, that was five, six, seven, eight, twelve. So I have, uh, five guys left shooting into the mortifiers. Ten that shots. was four into the mortifiers. It was four, four, shot four. three, and then five. Whatever, five. Yeah. Here, go for it. Oh, five. Hey, I, but I, so five shot that way, um, four shot that way, that's nine. Ten, eleven, twelve shot at the retributors, and I should have five left to get to 17, right? Uh, sure, go yeah. for it. All right, real ones, one auto wound, and then wounding on fours because you're T5. That's right. Three. Anchor right. One. Feel no pain. All right, cool. Okay. Well, let's end that experiment. <laughs> and I think that is all for shooting. So we'll go ahead and make uh, charge moves. So we will. We don't need to do anything here. You're not in heroic range, right? That's right. Okay. Um, so instead, we will go here. We'll declare Draxus, this thing, and I might as well declare her because she's going to heroic into me. Yeah. Okay. She doesn't do anything special if I declare her anything? No. Nothing special here? No. Okie doke. Four? Four should make it. I don't know if a four gets you to the objective. Just Let's tell me what anything. I need. With pylons and consolidates. With pylons and consolidates, that does not do it. Four, yep. you can send the model there and go three. That could work. That works? You can swing that I just wide. need one, yeah. right? You can get one on. Because he's double opsec. Well, you no. You, have, oh, you have double opsec? Double opsec, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then you're good. Then I'm good? Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, I would re-roll it. You have to send this guy on an adventure all the way around. Okay, so I'll do that because he'll come this way. Mm -hmm. All right, just wanted to make sure it was possible. Yep. Yeah, you're good. Until right. I kill you. <laughs> Somehow. It does limit the amount that are getting in the these guys. Yes, you definitely want to do that. And this, which guy? This was the guy who has to come around? Yeah, he has to go on a wide okay. adventure. Yeah, and get closer, yeah, yeah. to be, because he's now within six. Yeah, I got you. Like so. I think it's going to be like three in range. There's a four year old. Four. Okay. 
Not going to be many. Well, you only need to get one through. I do have a reroll, thankfully, but... Uh, Is that on player turn or... Uh, turn, turn. Turn? Yeah. Yeah, player turn, not instead of battle rounds. Yeah. It's because you used it in your turn. Yep, I'm going to check. Also, I'm not at 10. I'm at well, say it would actually be a new battle round. You just wouldn't be able to reroll your psychic power if she Oh, lives. that's fine. Whatever. If she dies, I don't get to reroll it either. Yeah, totally. Uh, these guys, and you're once again, I don't have to make a charge because you're not in... Not in heroic, yeah. Not in heroic range. You're going to soak Overwatch with the Rhino anyway. Um, hmm. Not going to do any damage. Honestly, there's no real reason to because you're not controlling this objective anymore. So I'm, all I need to do is make the consolidate move here, get on there, give you the zero, and deny that intercept. You got it. Okay. So not going to get adventurous with the other unit. All right. Uh, all so right. activate the unit. You said three guys going to swing? I, I don't know. I was just I was guessing. It looks like maybe four. So I can These come this here. way and be in a half inch. Yeah, because, okay. So let me do the most important one first. This one. Yep. And you, you engaged her, right? Otherwise, yes, I could heroic and one. stop all that. With this yeah, one, right? Yeah. Okay. So come on, like so. Uh, you have to, sorry, you have to stay in coherence with this guy. Yeah, so I'm going to You just have to bring the guy around. Yeah. Oop. And so that this one will be there. I think means three. On Darksus. Darkshish. Jaraxus, Eridar, Lord of the Burning Legion. And just group them up. They're not doing anything. Honestly, if they're not doing anything, they might as well stay over here. And they could reanimate back that way. So I'll probably kill a guy and that would get you the objective either way. So That's true, that's true with the swingbacks. Yeah. Alright, so how many could get it within a half inch? One, two, one, two, three. And this guy couldn't, so three guys? Yep, looks like it. I don't think I can get anybody else because I need to keep coherency on that side. So we'll swing at them and then I'll look at what the other guys can do. So into Draxus, re-rolling ones, one hit. Meme. One wound. AP. It's, no. Three I'm, out. I'm not Novak. Three re-roll. Oh, okay. almost. Okay. And um, the other swings. Got one, two guys that can go this way, and two into the Dogmata. Yep. Dogmata. I wish it were a Dogmata. One hit, nothing, and the two into the Rhino. Uh, one hit, and nothing. All right, and then you just yoink the objective from me? Yeah, just yoink the objective, and then go ahead and start swinging. All right. Draxus. Draxus is going to punch. Uh, Reroll everything against. Uh, Reroll hits and wounds against Xenos. Your Xenos didn't matter. T4. Real hits and wounds. Two wounds minus two. Yep, just. Uh, so nope. Needed six ups because I don't have the invuln up. Yep. And uh, so two guys die, reanimations, reroll the one. Nope, two guys die. Ah! So just pull from the back. Yep. And then the Dialogus is going to punch. Punch, punch, punch. Uh, free reroll, Argent Shroud, and then two wounds, AP1. Yeah, uh, so on the either the hit or the wound? Yeah. Okay. One AP1, or the other. so AP1. make one, one fails, reanimate him, he doesn't. So one more dies in the back. And then the Rhino. Nope. Free reroll. Nope. All right, two, three. So you, no, three, no, no wounds off the uh, Rhino. So you just lost three in total yep. for leaderships. Uh, leadership 10. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking yeah. about. <laughs> All right. Okay, so so I, you yoinked that away, you yeah, jerk. Zero on data intercept. I have one objective right now. That gets me not a thing. Yeah, and you don't get any primary. Yep. But you do gain a command point, and you I do, do a miracle die, right? And I gain a miracle die. No, no, I don't. That's at the start, start of the battle, battle round. round. Yeah. Okay. But when I kill stuff, and I will kill stuff. I would hope so. Uh, command phase. She's going to start doing her special action. Okay. Uh, summoning a lady. Yeah. And I knew that wouldn't matter because yourself. I have OPSEC and you don't, correct? Yes. Okay. But it ends in my shooting phase. Yeah. All I'm saying is you don't control it in your command phase to get back to five primary. That's correct, yeah. yes. That's all I'm concerned about. She's going to give her the buff. There you go. Thanks. Well, it, it'll end later. Oh, so it if I decide resolved to, in the... It resolves in the command phase. Yeah, I got you. So she's going to give her buff... Is it anything within six? 
any Adeptus Sororitas core or character within six. Yep. So I think she's... Oh, so it can't target the Mortifiers. They're not core. Yeah, exactly. It yeah, it can't. Okay. If it could, oh my gosh. That'd be so good. Uh, she is... Celestine's just going to beat up on that unit there, but to, yeah, make that, to make that happen, I... Actually... We'll see. Move on to here. Shoot them away. That no, please split fire. No. Come on, Jack. Come She's going to target <laughs> herself, I want to say. She has a double blast rocket and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So she's going to target herself. Celestine's going to start her action. She's going to chant for plus one attack on these ladies here. Okay. Goes off. Yep. So that's the three sacrosants that remain? Three sacrosants that are still alive. Nice. It's funny, you can sky falling stars to chip me, but then it gets a lot less uh, reliable as soon yeah. as you stop chipping. So we are going to get our heavy flamers out because uh, it's kill time. I only know kill. Yeah, I could have tagged the rhino. But the thing is, I wouldn't have been able to uh, actually wrap it because of Celestines uh, exactly. and the bodyguards. Yep. So yep. now is when we. That's why I tried to kill the bodyguards. If I did, I would try and go for the wrap play. So is this how many is in this? Twenty. Yeah, that's right. the one that you haven't shot out. All right. Well, we are going to fix that real fast. Heavy flamers. Heavy flamers. Are we going to see what heavy flamers do? Hopefully. <laughs> it would suck if, it, if we didn't, right? <laughs> All right, so this is four heavy flamers and a sergeant, right? Uh, yeah. Whatever. Four heavy flamers, a sergeant with a combi melta. Okay. So the combi melta gives them... I just want to get within 12 inches of every model so for some reason. One, plus one to wound? Plus one to wound, and also you can't pull out of my cherubs. Yeah. Because that would suck. I should kill the whole unit. It's true, <laughs> but then I feel like I'm okay. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Um, over here, you are down to 14 models. That's correct, right? Uh, you ki ended up killing... Yeah, I believe you killed three. Okay. So I should be from 17 to 14. Cool, 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 cool. We're going to charge Yep, and you once again, expecting to them to be totally gone, but they did, and they did the, the work that they could. Bink. Got at least a decent amount Bink. of uh, value out of them. Get out of there. Bank. Do I want to bring down Dominions? You're out you of what? I mean, sorry, out of the uh, rhinos. Oh, out of the rhinos. Out of the rhinos. And I think the answer is I do want to fall back here and then shoot you up, because honestly, what am I doing otherwise, you know? With both your characters, too? Yeah. Otherwise, like, where, what are we then doing? Then you probably, you might not kill them, and then it's silly. Yeah, I want to shoot them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're a shooting army. Yeah. It's kind of my thing. So we're just going to shoot you, and we're going to charge you. And, I mean, that should, should be enough. That should be enough. Yeah. Should be enough. So the plan, 40, well, 34 warriors. Just get that out of the way. And yep. then as much little stuff as possible. Just kill, try and kill, like, every warrior. They're going to start. Can I data intercept while you're on it? Uh, no, I don't believe you can start that action if there are models on it. They're going to data intercept yeah. them. I think you can do it over there, though. Yep. And that would be a veil of t darkness, I think, if you wanted to do anything about that. Yep. Well, you could block it with the, your Zephyrum. Yeah. I think that might that have play. to be what happens. Honestly, that's a smart play. Yeah. Because I will 100% try and stop it again. Yeah, and stopping data intercept away from feels your, really good. Move away from this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> yeah, it's not for me, obviously. It doesn't feel really good for me. It feels me. great for you. Trust yeah. me. Yeah, it's not ideal. <laughs> I do want to get out my um, my fellows and put a bunch of mortal wounds, my dominions, and put a bunch of mortal wounds into this squad. Mm -hmm. Just chip it up because you can't regenerate models anymore. So every model just I kill, just normal, just just normal, normal coming back. Yeah. So there, that's a pretty easy charge. Well, you know what? Vol is going to start being a bully. Because honestly, if I'm not doing that, what am I doing? She doesn't need to sit in your backfield, that's for sure. That is, yes, 100% true. 0% made up. Scan the... Other rhinos coming up. Yep. And that's, you did not get dominions out of there. 
No. And then I might get dominions out of this one because I can't shoot you at close range. Did these guys need a leadership check? Or uh, they this? would. I'm going to use the two. Yeah. And pass. That's, that's smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Failing the only place you could data intercept, start data intercept. Yeah, that would not be a good thing. So in that case, this squad is just going to move over and block this part of the board off from a Veil of Darkness unit. Yep, you got veiling it. Veiling and darknessing. And then Morvan Vol is over here with Celestine. Yep. And who got the buff again? The Supreme Commander buff? It's going to be Celestine. I want it to be Vol, but it's got to be Celestine. Do these need a morale check from losing three yards? They would. Okay. They're good. Yeah. It's only a six, right? Yes, yeah, they would need a six. Yeah. Yep. All right, and then the Mortifier's up here, tagging this ruin, try and shoot away the Crypto Thralls. Pink, pink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be Celestine getting the Vol buff. Okay. All right. We are going to move these fine, fine people up like that. They're going to fall back. So they're not doing any psychic powers or... I made a nice, but I think you're going to be fine with that. Yeah, I think we're good. Also, the perils would be... That would be hilarious. 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 So funny. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> so uh, what you want to see. I think we are going to advance the Dominions out. You're going to run out of ways to deal with stuff if I just start chipping away at this unit. Okay. So they're going to advance... A one. One, which gives them line of sight. I think. Okay. Just like that. Yeah, you're good. Do you need uh, any models from over here? Uh, I need one. No, I have Stormbolter right over here. You got them. Okay. Yeah. So Dominions are coming out. That's true. They're going to fire off mortal wounds against you. Be scared. And they do mortal wounds on hit rolls, correct? Hit like, rolls uh, of use six. A stratagem? That's right. It's one CP. Okay. So Rhino's just, and that Rhino's falling back. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So now those warriors are not in combat. They are not, and they are about to get shot. They are about to get shot to pieces. <laughs> All right. They're about to have a bad time. A rough, rough adventure. All right. No psychic phase, shooting everything into them. No, come on, Spookfire. No, I Please. got to kill them. Please. <laughs> I just need one opportunity for them to live for no reason. Please don't. The crypto thralls. They're going to live for no reason, but I don't need to just give it to you. All right, the Mortifiers into the two Crypto Thralls. Toughness. Uh, did you want to bring the Zephyrm down? I don't think so, honestly. Okay. Well, I can charge them. You could. I can charge back there as well, which would be unfun for you to deal with, but not like that unfun. I'm already on this objective here. I'm already on this objective here. I will be on this objective here, and I will be on that objective here, so I'm knocking you off everything. I kind of like taking away your board presence and okay. then giving you, um, sure. having, making you worry about the Zephyr coming down. Okay. The freeze. This many four ups, right? They're three up armor? Yep. They're dead. Dead zone. Even Get. a reroll would not help. Get your objectives out of here. Banner, down. All right, what else we got? Vol's going to shoot this unit here. Sure. She uh, is going to fire her blast, which is going to max out shots. How many shots is it? Uh, it's 2d6. OK. But blast. T4. Mm -hmm. And then fours. Just looking to chip you a little bit before the uh, heavy flamers get to work. Sure thing. So four and AP on these? Uh, AP zero. All right, so four ups, fail one. And then... Honestly, I'll just take guy, but he comes back. And, and then six. the uh, heavy bolter-ish thing. It's going to go in. Yeah, I don't want to make her charge bad. Actually, if I do and you pull that, then you're off the objective and I get it, so that's fine. Sure. So we're going to go into them with the heavy bolter-ish thing. Winning on twos, so two AP ones. Yep. Two damage. And that's a heavy bolter? Yep. All right, so it just kills one. And it's just running six heavy bolter. Yeah. But yeah. Doesn't reanimate. And that was into this one? Mm-hmm. Okay. I will I want to force you to charge, so. Yeah. Okie doke. Keep on going. Alright. Uh did Celestine want to do her thing? It's at the end of the shooting fish. End of shooting. Yeah. This thing's gonna shoot here. Because it can. The um, the rhino? The rhino, yeah. All right. And reroll one of those Argent Shroud. Sure. Fours. One. Take one in cover. Okay. Okay. Let me chip you. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> um, all righty. 
they're going to get every buff. Max out shots, plus one to wound. They're going to shoot here. The heavy flamers? Heavy flamers. All right, show us what they do. So you're so first thing we're doing is the stratagem you used? That's right. And we're firing our combi melta. So just explain it. Both modes. So what's going on. I'm firing a melta, a bolt weapon, and a flame weapon. So for one CP, I get plus one to wound. And two CP, I max out the number of flame shots. And they each have a heavy flamer, which in uh, sisters is strength six. And they ignore cover. Mm. So that's pretty good. So this is now 24, and I have two cherubs, so I can make it 36, which is why I'm in range of every model. Yep. Um, so auto hits, and then they wound on twos, because I'm plus one to wound. Sure. All right. Let's see how much damage this can do. So first things first, let's do the uh, Melta. Hits. Wounds. Okay. Five up in one. Fail it. So one guy goes down, but I have to wait till you Bolts. resolve your attacks. Wound. Okay. Ignores Wounds. cover. Okay, one more guy dies. So two dead. Two down so far. And then 24 flamer hits. And it's every time they activate, every time they shoot till the end of the phase. Sure. So if they decide they want to shoot something else, like your fine gentleman over there, then I can... Another 12 shots? Another 12 shots. I plus, well, I have to target them to get the plus one to wound. But if I target them, I don't. Okay, okay. But if they're all dead, then who cares? So these wound on twos? They wound on twos, and I Argent Shroud. Oop, that was a one. one. That was a one. These are AP1, ignores cover. You should be down to 18 at this point. I am down to 18. So, we need five up in bones here. Oops, that was a save. And then two more. So, let's see if that's enough. So, I lost, I'm at 18. And that's eight right there. 12, 14. So, so I you're have down four to four. Models left before I reanimate. Is that the end of the attacks, or do you have any other? Once they're done, I can shoot. One more. So you can reanimate a bunch, okay, and so then I get, I get to shoot you again. I get reanimations. Yeah. 14, 18. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We're rolling ones. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> 4, 8, 11 come back. OK. So I go from uh, 4 back to 15. Jack, keep track of his 4. Yep, 11 came back. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's a happy person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this keeps right, happening. Right down your shame. Okay, but I can't get out of your melt. You cannot yeah. get out of the range, no. Okay. So it's the case of where do I want you to charge me? What do I want? How many attacks do these Sacrosons have? Three and four for the sergeant. Three and four. Well, what I want to do is you have no other shooting left on this side of the board. I have heavy bolters over there. I have the dominions here, and I have two more. Okay. Uh, six. Okay. I have 12 more flame heads. Okay. Can't take myself out of line of sight of that. Um, can these guys see these warriors over the? I'm bigger than the hill, so yeah. Bigger than the hill? Okay. Yeah. So in that case, I want to be on this side then. So we're going to go and pull four. Because I just don't want the Dominion Stormbolters shooting them. Yeah. And get finishing them off. So four, eight, 12, uh, 10, 12. And I should have four left. Okay. There, are there guys behind? Hmm? Are there any guys behind? There shouldn't be. No. Nope. Okay. Well, that's. This is the 14 that come back. I'm missing two models. Because it should have been a full 20 man. Um, they may have gotten mixed in with the other unit. Yeah, it might have gotten mixed in. How many are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14. There's 14 left here. Yeah. yeah, so I, I, maybe I miscounted. Uh, let me just grab the guys over here. Okie doke. Why won't you die? <laughs> <laughs> so, they're going to come back to a 15 man. So 4, 8, 12, 15. Where do we put these? I think we put them this way. And make this... Very annoying. How many attacks does Celestine have? Uh, six. Six? And her character is three. So nine attacks coming at me. Plus these guys have four each. Yeah, and she can do mortal wounds on sixes. Two mortal wounds That's on sixes. Let's just be back. Just put as many guys in cover, honestly. So they went back up to 15? Yeah. Out of 11 reanimations. Out of 18? Yep. Okay. <laughs> or no, 11 out of 16. Yes. Okay. Wait, what? No, I had 18. Uh, no, I didn't have 18. It was that many. 16 dice. Unless I rolled more than I yeah, should. Yeah, you, no. Four. You Four. 
Yeah, I finally rolled more than you should have. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. No, I, oh, I was down to two. That's why, because I'm down to two models. So I'm down up to 13. Because you killed the other two that were over here. Okay. You, you killed 18 total. Seven, two. You should be 11 right now. With how many of these are failed? You were, if you were two left, then Chet you saying seven. That you lost 16 models, but you rolled 18 reanimation. Oh, I only lost 16. Okay. Uh, so then I come up to 11. Okay. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I'm just putting them all in cover except for the, the guys that were up there. All right. Well, actually, I'll, I'm going to just pull the guys who weren't in cover and put everybody else back in okay. cover to just try and be decent enough against them. Okay. Against the mortifiers, that is. All right, keep going. You get to pop the cherubs at me. Yep. I will shoot you again. So you're at 11? Yes. Okay. 11. Twos. Okay. And then once again, no cover. Five ups. Five of them bones. All right, so make three of them. Yep. So that means six guys die. So I'll pull. It doesn't matter which six I pull. You're rolling these two. So three guys come back. Three stay down. So we'll just make your charge harder. Yep. That way. Okay. I mean, as as ridiculous as that was, I'm fine with this. Yeah. yeah. Now they're not doing much. I mean, you are touching this, so can I see you through them? Or are we or not? You can see me through the windows and stuff. Okay. Dominions. And we're gonna shoot mortifier. We're gonna shoot dominions over here. We're gonna pop the the strat. Yep. And so it's sixes to hit or mortals. Are two mortals. Okay. Up and to a maximum. Up to three. maximum of six. Okay. It's on the hit rolls. Very powerful. Well, we'll see how many sixes I roll. Enough. Three. That's enough. So. And then I will reroll one of these. Okay. Doesn't add. It's only. It doesn't them. add. So okay. these so are removed. That's six mortals into that squad. And then they four win. saves. Four saves. AP on these? AP zero. So failed two of them. And then a bolter off of the Sarge. Okay. So I failed two of those plus the six mortals, so eight. Uh, the six mortals you don't get to reanimate from. Why not? Because you don't get to reanimate from mortals. No, I get to reanimate from model uh, attacks in the shooting or fight phase. I don't do it against psychic mortals or the Catan powers. It's not I don't get to reanimate from mortals. Oh, I thought, okay. No, you, you are mis, uh, misinterpreting, but I will read it for you because I haven't played Necrons in... A little bit. We'll just read out the rule. Okay. As long as they. I come may have from been a, confusing psychic phase with. Yes. Uh, with it's not that they can't general. reanimate against like snipers. They can reanimate against that because it comes from a shooting attack. Where is reanimation protocols? Blah blah blah. Okay. So. Each time an enemy unit shoots or fights after it makes attacks, if any models in this unit were destroyed as a sure. result of those attacks. All right, so eight died. Yep, eight died total. So that's mortals and then uh, uh, two extra. Yep. And this is against this unit. So fives, re-rolling ones. Three, so five stay down. Five stay down. Hopefully that should just make you sit down a little bit. I'll just pull the ones that the mortifier can see. Yeah. Good. Okay, mortifiers are going to shoot in here. Yep. And you got three back up if you could just increase my little tally there. Three? Yep. You've gotten so many guys back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's Necrons, baby. We're almost up to 40. This is uh, Mortifiers? Mortifiers into the unit that they're close to. Yep. The one you fell back from? Yeah. All right. Wounding on threes. And these are all AP1. That's right. All right. So we'll start. Tell me how many models are touching the terrain. There should be the three guys who are in combat and like one other, one or two other. I'm assuming you can move that guy in four. Yeah. yeah. Four guys? It'd be five if you moved him as well. Five. So three so far, and then that means there's uh, uh, two left in cover. Mm -hmm. So just keep taking four ups. One guy left in cover if he dies. So this guy is a five up. Fails. So six die. Six die. Let's see how many actually died. Fives are only ones. So uh, three guys die. Mm -hmm. So pull the five. So that's and another two three. Uh, hmm. You You're have, getting charged, my friend. Yep. Once again, how many, what's the stats on these uh, Celestine, uh, Sacrosons? 
Uh, they now have plus one attack, so four attacks and five on the Sarge, strength six, AP three. So or AP four, sorry. Twelve attacks coming at me? Four each? Uh, sorry, thirteen attacks, yeah. Thirteen attacks coming 13 at me? Thirteen attacks coming at you, strength six, AP four. AP, oh yeah, I don't get a save against that. Yes. Um, so probably, the, and then the Mortifiers still do a banana amount of attacks. Fifteen attacks, no saves, each? wounding on twos. No, no. They have buzz blades. Oh, they have the buzz blades. So the 15 attacks. Rerolling to hit, hitting on threes, wounding on twos. Okay. No saves. Probably dead either way. So I would rather just be annoying on this objective, I think. Uh, you definitely have to pull the models that were. I, so I'd have to pull. No, the models that were in terrain are the ones you have to oh, pull. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. One, two, three, four, five, five. And then reanimations. And then so, and you pull a sixth one, right? Sixth one, so pull him. Yep. And then you get three back. Yep. Um, then you just have to go in front of you. Whatever. They're gonna die. That I'm okay with. Yep. That I am totally fine. I only with. got two back. Three, three didn't come back. Go ahead. <laughs> you fire their pistols in there. Into the scarabs. Yep. T3. One, uh, one wound. AP zero. Damage? One. Down to three. This one. All the damage that I can get. Okay. Celestine finishes regening a model and healing herself. And that makes I need to roll four. Okay. She's going to charge. There. CP reroll. Yep. Got it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Every time. Every time. I bet she'll roll the one, too. That's the thing. Uh, she with full rerolls to hit, definitely. And wound definitely kills that. Yeah. So we're just going to... Well, not to mention she does mortals. Yeah, she does mortals as well. So we're going to charge here you as well. You could leave a gap to charge the sacrosants if you wanted. I think I want to leave the sacrosants. Okay. And just make it so you can't shoot me. Sure. Um, they're going to charge. Got it. The mortifiers? Yeah. Okay. The mortifiers. Mortifiers. All right, well, interrupting anywhere really doesn't matter because you don't I'm have not a combat interrupt. punch. Yes. <laughs> this is not a combat army, Jack. Celestine punch. Okay. Good. Oh, uh, do I want to full reroll? Yeah, I think I want to full reroll. She got full No, no, I do I want to reroll everything? Yeah, with Vaughn, you yeah. have the option. So there's That's going to be two mortals, which is an extra hit, and then that ends the attack sequence. So five, and then full rerolls to wound. There you go. There you go. Go ahead and do and then the mortifiers. Mortifiers. Two. Three. And I killed something in shooting, by the way. That's a six. Okay. Yay. And then uh, threes. Zealot full rerolls. I'll pull the sixes. Do sixes do anything? No, they don't do anything. They don't have. Uh, they don't have the. They don't have sacred rites. Okay. Okay. There you go. So that. Threes to kill or twos? Twos to kill. Okay. T4. So let me just make sure I have the correct number of attacks because that matters. I, 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 pulled the, I pulled the successes out. Okay. I mean the non that failed. Okay, yeah, this there is were right. like two that. How many do you have left in the squad? Should be plenty. That's dead, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Four, eight, twelve. Yep, gone. Took a while, but get out of here. Boop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You can set them back up and consolidate. All right. Cool. My gosh. Okay. Well, that was a lot of killing, and then a lot more, a lot more killing, and then gonna, a lot more killing on top of that. I'm gonna auto pass these ones. Okay. And the other one lost. Uh, lost five. Yep. Uh, I'm leadership eleven, so I can't fail. Because I'm plus one leadership from the ne non Nemesir Nick. <laughs> Nemesis or Nick, baby. What a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good? Good. Okie doke. So let us go into gaining command point. We're going to put the uh, buffs on the 15 man unit. Primary? Are they 15? Because I chipped them you down the turn before and then I chipped them down the next turn. Oh, whatever they're at. They're they are at 12. 12. Primary? Primary, Primary. he gets zero. Yep. And I get stranglehold. I get. Mm hmm. Most things. A stranglehold. Uh, do you have an estimation on what your no is at? It's pretty good. <laughs> it's 
pretty well, good. Well, I have four extra points, or three, 39 extra points right, on top Sieg's, of everything I've killed. Data I get uh, one point out of it. Okay. Four and raise the uh, one point as well. Okie right. doke. This is hopefully where it all starts to slide downhill for Sieg's. Well, let's see if we can uh, do some things. So, stranglehold, I have, big thing is I have obsec. So I can get get over the board, make sure Jack doesn't get a 15 is the big thing. And that's why I saved this unit. So, if we teleport one unit and shoot them away, this is the data intercepting unit? It is the data intercept tool. Well, we're gonna teleport over there and get rid of them so that they are not doing. What are you data in? Oh, and I killed something in the shooting phase. Finally. You rolled the six, right? Or that, that was the, the sorry, this is shooting this is combat. Okay. Good miracle dice. Not bad. We take those. And beginning of the battle round. Three. I will reroll that with Whitney's. Five. Okay. So let's see what we can do. So we're nine inches from the objective. So with the plus one move, we need a three up to get over there. And deny get the obsec. Uh, <laughs> Where do I commit the Catan? So I'm going to be able to sky a falling stars, a bunch of stuff. These guys, by the way, are touching the ruin now, because you're going to be able to teleport either way. What's that? The retributors. They move touch cover. They're touching cover. Yeah, because oh. you're going to be a, the only way to get to them is. Yeah, for you to if you put the Zephyrum back there, then you could have defended against it, but you didn't you decide not to do that. Uh, this is Celestine. Was I mean, my hope is that I'll be able to just start racking up like sixes on data intercept over the next couple of turns, or fives, or whatever. I am going to try and do as much to deny. So I, I really need to not let Jack get uh, a big primary score this turn. So if I take him off there, I can tag. It's really going to be hard to get onto that objective. It's these two that I need to. So I need to commit the Catan this way, and then these warriors to get onto these objectives. Well, I have full faith in the ability of Celestine to just roll a one and die like a chump. <laughs> She's not obsec at the end, that's the big thing. It's like, yeah, she'll probably survive on a two up. I'm not expecting to kill her, just limit her uh, her potential. Yeah. That um, damage output. So if I teleport, I have to go for the teleport play. So that's fine. So they're getting all the buffs. And let's see what we can do with the Catan. I would like to switch back to Cosmic Fire and uh, in that case, I'm getting rid of Thunderbolt. So the Transcendent's going to get Cosmic Fire instead of Thunderbolt. Got it. And these guys, there's, they also have the buzz saws. Yes, they do. OK. So probably going to need to, don't want to charge them. You sure? Celestine only has, I should be able to kill her Gemini, so she has six attacks if I charge in there. I don't want to charge them. That's the thing. Yeah, and you definitely don't want to do that. Their huge bases means they'll all get to fight you. Mm. Or I just go for the three up on the advance roll and try and touch this piece over here. Hmm. It's tough. They are not getting, they're gonna just take four up invulns. Yep. It's annoying that they survived that last turn. I think I have to give myself the option to do the extra damage here, so I'm going to come right next to Celestine with them. Okay. And be able to shoot at them. Sure. So, just try and come this way. And I think that's all those guys. So, the Catan are going to come out like so. Okay, I got the Catan to expose themselves for okay. science. For science, but I should have Falling Stars on any of this. Sure, 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 yeah. Okie doke, and then the teleport. Teleport. I am going to take the Chronomancer and these guys to come over here. There's 12 models still left in there. Yep. So, need to stop the data intercept 100%. I think I have to come this way. So, nine is going to be right there. I'm ready to live, man. <laughs> you might. These are only AP1. Yep, I get my three ups. It's gonna be cute. 
Can I sit back here? I don't think so. That's a model, right? That's yeah. alive? Yeah, it's alive. Jack, do you want to go to the board with the camera? All right. Sure, getting a little, little complicated up on this board state here. Richard, why don't you uh, talk us through what you're thinking? So I'm teleporting him over here to make sure I get rid of data intercept and get Jack off this objective, and I'm going to try and touch those two objectives so he only gets a five. There's nothing I can really do about this over here. Yeah, that objective there, probably nothing. This objective here with his big unit of troops, he's going to try and do fancy stuff with. Well, not big anymore unit of troops, but I did what I could. This guy's going to come back here and data intercept yeah. there. Data intercepting going on in this corner. All right. And Nemeser Nick. Nemeser Nick. What does Nemeser Nick do? He could charge out a line of sight into these flamers. Honestly, Nemeser Nick is going to try and be a legend. What? He's going to come this way. You can't let Nick have that. He's going to try and be a legend. I don't buy it. What does he mean? Like five? Yeah, this is going to be such so a low scoring game, it's going to be ridiculous. That's such a little chance that he's going to do anything there. <laughs> like, I, I want to make a charge move and come over here. But there's, yeah, you there's are no forgetting way. something, Mr. Siegs. What's that? I will still have that objective. That they're going to live? No, if they're dead, they still get the objective. It's uh, the mission. I was on oh, at the start the of my command phase. Yeah, yeah. So then I have to make the charge move on there. Yeah. Well, in that case, then I have to make a charge here and go here. So killing them would be the, the play, to shoot them away. OK. So go back six. Where does Nemesis or Nick want to go? He is going to come up like so. And who is going to be your data intercept, sir? This guy back here. What a lad. And then we're just going to block him with the crypto thralls. What an absolute lad. We will block him with the crypto thralls. I'm gonna get the actual crypto thralls. So the proper basis. Look at these Catan. Being all rough and tough and ugh. You know what they say. Well, this is this is the uh, this is the time. Can I kill the Catan, huh? Can I do it? Let's go with <laughs> Honestly, Nemesir Nick will be the hero here. He'll do the data intercept. He's going to intercept that data? Yep. And he'll, so he'll just be over here. Oh, okie dokie. Probably shoot him away. Nah. He's just not going to do anything. He's just going to sit there? He needs to be able to obsec the following turn. He'll stay there. And okay. we'll do, keep doing it with the Royal Warden. All right. Uh, the pow Catan powers will start with uh, Cosmic Fire. On uh, Celestine's unit. Okay. So looking for four ups. Nothing. Cool. And then uh, Gaze of Death is going to go on them. Let me. Wait, isn't that, oh, the no, three, I, isn't I that the three four ups? I might have to resolve the Sky of Falling Stars first. So. Pretty sure Gaze of Death is the three four ups. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's Gaze of Death. Yeah. Cosmic Fire is the four up. Uh, yeah, so I think I have to resolve Sky of Falling Stars first. Okay. So we'll just do that. So gaze of death, yeah. One, two, and this unit. Got it. So three. for that unit there? Yep. The, that unit here, and that unit back there. Got it. So dominions. Got it. Three mortals. Two. Bink, bink. The flamer mint people. Yes. Three. Okay. And Getting a little aggressive here. The uh, sacristans are at three. Yeah. So no. And then the other so. Catan is going to do sky falling stars on. He, he, yeah, he switched out. He's going to do Cosmic Fire. OK. Everything within nine. So Mortifiers. Nope. No. Celestine. No. Nope. Sacrosants. Yes. How many? D3. Both. Okay. See? They died for free. Cool. And then that's it for him. All right. And then he gets to do. Um, no, Gaze of Death went No, I on. did Gaze of Death and Sky of Falling Stars. The other guy just did Cosmic Fire, and his other spell is... Uh, is Sky of Falling Stars as well. No, is, that's... Yeah, yeah, he has, yeah. Uh, his other spell is Sky of Falling Stars. So, because I traded out uh, Thunderbolt. So, pick them. Mm, there's nothing else. You need to start rolling ones, yeah, pretty yeah. much. So we'll just do the same three targets and Got hopefully it. roll ones or twos. So them, nope. nope. One, I do get it. And D3 just kills the one more. 
And then the other unit, I have to roll one or two. I do. On the sacristans, two more die. Okay, still got one left. Okay. Sky Falling Stars doesn't play around, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. Uh, that's all. I'm going to spend one CP now to do an, a, a random Catan power. Hot. Down to three. So random power is two. Can't gaze of death, thankfully. No, I can't gaze of death. That would be amazing. Where is the chart? Where's my friendly charts? The Catan powers. There they are. So two is times arrow. <laughs> I need three up to just kill the one. No, it's, isn't it the highest? Oh, well, either way. Oh, yeah. Bank. Thankfully, you didn't do any mortals. You were just picking up cells. Right somehow, there. I didn't. Somehow, well, I didn't. I'm happy with it. Okay. But it's that would have been so rough if you randomly <laughs> lucked into times there and picked you cells. You do it now in this phase. Yeah. All right. So that's all for the Catan. So we'll go ahead and do shooting. We'll start with the unit over there that I don't want to kill the two models that I need to make a charge move against. Right. So, so you're our minus one to hit. Okay. Going through the forest. Yep. Uh, there's 12 models. Yep. Nine, 12. They do have reroll ones on there. Didn't matter. And then winning on threes is going to be at AP1. So four AP1s on the remaining dominions. Four four ups. They're dead. Okay. And the Chronomancer will go into the Mortifiers, I guess. Hits. Wounds. Anvil. Uh, I don't get one. You don't have Anvil? Nope. All right, so flat three plus D3, just four. Four. They have five wounds, right? Yes. So one's down to two. Okie doke. And we will go with uh, the Warriors over here, all into Celestine. Boo! Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Three miss. Winning on threes. At least, AP twos. AP twos. At least you can't kill her in this phase. Yeah. That would suck. The Lord uh, isn't touching, so I don't have any more shots. Yep, down to two. And I'm down to four, sorry. She's taken two. Okay. And uh, I think that is just into the charges. The so, charges? Yep. We'll go with the Nightbringer first, uh, or should I, no, let's, I need to spend the CP over yeah. there. So just declaring the Retributors. Got it. Uh, not the Not fires. overwatching you. Negative. CP, a reroll. Nope. Negative. All right, uh, the Chronomancer will try. YOLO play. Nope. Okie doke. And <laughs> then Nightbringer goes in. Got it, try not to. Try not got to. It. And then I'll try and get the other Katan in, which does. And then just leave a space so that I don't have to charge the mortifiers. With you the can just go there. Warriors. Yeah. Okay. They're going in. To Celestine? Yes, yeah. just to Celestine. And then you're going to pile onto the objective. I'm going to do the pile yep. You jerk. Oops, a touch there. And then they'll come like so. Oh man, Celestine really wants to live. Let her live. Okay. We'll go ahead and swing with the Nightbringer first. Yeah, this should do it. <laughs> Twos. I mean, he one does two. one thing, you know. Twos. And that is uh, six you ups. Or I get five ups because you're AP3. Uh, maybe four. Pretty sure. No, either way. Just to see six ups. We so get that. We'll just, let's just do these three first. See you, Chief. Okay. Two. At the end of the phase. Yep, okay. so she's down. She doesn't come back in combat, right? No, she does not. Yeah, so I can't swing back against her with the other Catan. Correct? That's correct. Yeah. Okie doke. Uh, so we'll just... Would you like to pile in more fires? No. Please? Please. But can I pile in this way? Yeah, you can. She'll just stand up like over there or over here, whatever's closest. Okay. I'm going to just move slightly farther up. Yep. I want to be Trust able to me, I will remember that she's there. <laughs> and then I will be deeply, deeply sad yeah. when I roll the one. <laughs> Let's just, we'll just stay. It's fine. Okay. It doesn't actually matter. Uh, and they're just going to tag the objective with their. Oop. Got it. Cool. Time to be sad! No. No. Not this time. Almost. Okie doke. All right, so, so I get, get a 15. You get a 10. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Yep. I get a 10. And I get a 3 on data intercept, thankfully. Yep. And you do not get stranglehold. No, I have to control more. Yeah. I needed that charge play to work out. Yeah. Would have still failed it with Novak, so that's okay. Uh, on to you. CP. You gain a commander point. I'm going to go up to two commanding points. I did not kill anything in that phase. And now is the time when we try. We brought some cool things that can do some cool things to. Uh, 
Those Katan Shin powers Katan. were underwhelming. I they have could her have been before. stronger. <laughs> could have killed her before that. Is that is correct. And, or at least in shooting, and then she does, can't get back uh, when I kill her in combat. All right, so buffs, buff buffs. Vol's going to buff herself because nothing else is in range that she can target, which sure. is fine. I'm okay with this. Um, Hit me with it. Is she going to go into the Nightbringer? Well, I'm going to toss 2d3 mortal wounds in separate phases onto the Nightbringer okay. before shooting and charging him. Sure. So hopefully that'll do it. Uh, to be clear, Mike. Command protocol this turn was something that was garbage. Um, <laughs> All right, I'll let you figure that one yeah, out. I, I put them in order, it didn't matter. Uh, in terms of leaderships, I need to give you a leadership on the Heavy Flamer. She's gone. Peace out, homie. And then the one Celestian Sacrosanct that you killed one of is fine. I killed uh, two of. I mean, you killed two of, yeah, either so, way. But now. still. She's going to just walk Are on the data nine intercept. Or eight? Nine. Either way, though. Yeah, exactly. She's going to do data intercept because uh, you can't kill her with uh, Sky of Falling Stars. No, I can't. These homeboys are going to shoot you a lot. The Retributors? Mm hmm. They we'll still do. have cherubs, so they're going to shoot. They do have cherubs. And then. Oh, they're multi melters, not heavy flamers, right? That's correct, okay. yes. Heavy flamers be scary. They, they do be scary. <laughs> People don't talk about that enough. <laughs> They don't. All right. Well, Zephyrm definitely need to come down this turn. That is a fact. You go after Nemesir Nick with Celestine. She's going to do her action. Okay. Or she can fly over here and she start assassinating. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> that sounds way better. He, he's right there. He's right here. Can I charge through the wall into Fellas? If you can get more within an inch, yeah. Because she's infantry. Well, I'm saying, did you block me out or anything stupid? We're just going to go like... I mean, it's not really possible because I have three models back there. Yeah. Like, I, if you roll high enough, you just get back there. Yeah. I might just bring in the Zephyr Ephraim and do that. Sure. Because you're not particularly tough in combat. So, Zephyrim, come in, kill. I can even go on the other side of this wall so you can't even overwatch me if you felt like it. And that will turn off a lot of your, a lot of your points that are coming in. And then it doesn't really matter if I kill these or not, although obviously, you know, I would prefer to. I do need to charge them with something in combat if I want to try and kill. But 18 inches for her. She's going to touch the wall so she can see. Okay. She just needs to go there. Yep. I think. So out of phase, she can do D3 mortals to you at any phase, I feel like. Okay. Once per game, right? No. Just, just it's, a, it's her chant, and then I can, for one CP, oh, so do it at the start of any phase. Okay. Uh, these people are going to hide. These folks are probably going to be what does most of the mortal woundage. And then, I mean, we'll do what most of the wounds in shooting. So we're going to try and kill you. What are the rhinos going to do? <sighs> That's a great question, you know? They should probably... They should probably do stuff, <laughs> right? Go forward. Yeah. Onward and upward. There's no I reason. I think not I'm to. leaving the model. I think I'm leaving the dominions in the transports because yeah. your ability to actually deal with transports and the fellas in them. Necrons is, don't deal with transports. Period. Yeah, it's, it's just, just not really, <laughs> really bad. We're Guns gonna stay outside three thing inches thing. just in case somehow you don't die, mm -hmm. because I don't know. That sounds like a thing that you would do to me. And then this one is just gonna start just moving up here, just in case you like kill some stuff, and I still have a unit up there that can take objectives. Sure. Uh, da, 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 Zephyrum, da, da, da. I have one more model somewhere. Uh, yeah. Somewhere. Where'd you put it? That is an excellent question, Richard. Just go ahead and take this. One I don't have an answer for. Okay. That's fine. Where are they coming down? They really, as much as this blob here is hilarious, they want to just stop you from getting points. Okay. So they are going to come down here sure. so that no uh, Overwatch. And then they can auto make it because I have all the miracle dice in the world, and then they can kill you. That's the game plan here. Do it. All right. Anything can else? Can you dig it? Got enough. Got everything set up. Yeah. Everything set up. up. We're gonna do psychic, psychic phase. Okay. We're gonna target Nightbringer because he's the big bad boy. Sure. Barrels. Nope. Goes off. Does two. Okay. So he's down to seven. Uh, you have all the dice. I'm gonna put that is seven. correct. I'm going to put a 7 next to him, right up here. Okay. All right, shooting phase. Missile into Nightbringer. Sure. I've not used it yet. 
And he used we're, one missile. Yeah, that's that one. Okay. And we're going to fire the storm bolter into him as well. Okay. I want to say, yeah, missile. Reroll that. No wound. And, and then storm bolter. T seven. Negative. Okay. Negative ghost rider. Vol is going to shoot. Sure. Missiles. Two. Two four pinballs. Damage. Three. So he can't take any more damage yep. this phase. Okay, cool. And then her bolter's wasted. All right. Retributors firing Melta in. Do you Honestly, have invulns? Do you have invulns on them? Honestly, it might be worth it to reroll that. Eh. I still have a heavy bolter with reroll hits and wounds coming in, and then a ton of heavy yeah. bolters in there. So. I'll just accept it. I'll try and reroll it in the charge phase. I mean, uh, the fight phase. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. So we're going to fire. You have a five up invuln there on that yeah. unit? Or they no? have the defensive buffs and they the reroll ones. Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna fire the two multi melts there. Sure. Arden Shroud. Negative. Three. Three involves. So make one of those and two die. Do they come back? One comes back. So just try and make the mortifiers a little farther, but that's probably not gonna work well. Pull two and then put one back over here. Mm -hmm. Cherubs. Cool. That was fun. All right. Well, I didn't really want to do that anyway, so. <laughs> uh, firing heavy bolters into them. Yep, the mortifiers over there. Yep. This many five ups. Five ups. Ooh. One. So that's uh, eight. Go down so far? Yes. I have to pull them and then. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll roll the reanimations on them. See if any come back. We'll Coming back on fives, re rolling ones. One one to re roll. So just two come back. I'm okay with this. All right, so there's four left. Five. There's five left. Oh, because there's three. Sorry, I didn't yeah. see the other guy. God, keeping track of all this. So two came back. I'm going to go ahead and just tag the objective because you're probably going to kill me anyway. Okie doke. Uh, Celestine's going to fire her flamer into the person next to her. Two. Two, AP two. That's not a person. That's Nemesis or Nick. Okay? Oh, Nick is not a person, I agree. Good. Okay. <laughs> that is Nemesis or Nick. All right. Beginning of... So that was the charge phase. No, that Let's, was the shooting phase. That was the shooting phase. Sorry. <laughs> Beginning of the charge phase, we're going to do D3 mortal wounds to you. Sure. Three. Okay. All right, down to one. Uh, they're going to charge all three. Okay. Oh, boy. This could go so bad <laughs> if I don't kill you. Yeah, it could. <laughs> what if you just pass all your four-ups? <laughs> I'm so dead if that happens. <laughs> That's okay. I have secret plans. Okay. Good. Yep. Uh, one's in range of everything, and then... Yeah, you're good, you're good. All right. So how many are left in this squad? Like eight? It's exactly as many as you see. And I see... Eight. Eight. Okay. Just forget that they're there and overcommitted. That's them. great. Uh, That's we're going to charge both of those with the... Uh, okay. Fellas. Yes. Good. Everything's a fella in my army. And then we are going to charge Zephyrim into both of those. Yep. All there. We're going to spend a 10 just to give myself a little sure. extra movement. You're good. Just. Mm -hmm. And then Celestine charging Nemesis or Nick? Celestine charges Nemesis or Nick. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to do it. It's going to be what you deserve. You get what you deserve. All right. I assume you're going to swing against the pile over here. Let's first. swing against the pile over here first. Cool. Uh, one guy's going to go into Nightbringer. Because if you kill me on four ups, I do mortal wounds to you, which during the fight phase will still kill you. Sure. So one guy going to Nightbringer. Freeze. One. One save. Good. Okay. You better hope that works. Swinging into these guys, we might really need to kill. Full rerolls and then twos. Oh boy. I need to not fail any of these. 
You need a command point then. CP. Wipes the unit. Okay. I'm out of CP. To the man. <laughs> oh. That could have been bad. That could have been really bad, but it wasn't. Well, now I don't have the CP to mortal wound you, so you do get to just pick me up. But whatever. So I don't think two of these guys are going to be I think that's me. more important. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's more important. Points. I'm, I'm happy Points. if you want to not re-roll that one. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, go ahead. And uh, one guy, I assume you're not interrupting? No. no. Yeah. One guy's going to swing into your character. Everyone else is swinging into the uh, sure. unit. So, into the unit. Do you want to switch that to into the character? I'm good. Thank you. I am playing an army with no obsec. I know my limits. <laughs> Which might mean I don't even kill them now if I roll a bunch of ones. Five, that should be the, that's the squad. I have invuln on them, I think. Oh, you do? Oh my god. So I need to make one. They wound on twos, right? Yep. Strength eight? Mm-hmm. Okay. Five invulns, do make one. Okay. Sweet. So reanimate. Well, I knew I wanted to get some off. That's the back. end of their attacks over there, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so reanimate the four guys. Okay, so three are dead. So two, two come so back. The guy on the objective is alive. <laughs> That's true. One swing into the character. One, I'll put a second one on there. Your character is an invuln? Yes. Five. He, how much damage is that? Two. Okay, he takes two damage. He has a four up, I believe. What a cool fella. I will double check, though. Where did all my... Don't forget the re right on that reanimation. Yeah, you got one back. Two back. Two back. Two, two back. Yeah, two back. The Chronomancer has a four up, I believe. Where are you, Chronomancer friend? So many characters. Uh, four up in bone. Okay, and he has four wounds, he takes two. I knew I needed to hit the, uh, the troops. Yeah, I didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> I'm not sure, but whatever I am doing, he is wrapped. Okay, he flies. At this point in time. He flies. Does he know? Okay, right, we're touching them. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he fly? He's on foot! He's the chronomancer that flies, baby! He's on foot! He doesn't fly! He's on the scarab! Alright, swinging into your character. How everyone's, do you want to split? Everyone's going into the character. Can you please split? No. Please. Everyone's going into the character. Stop talking. Okay. <laughs> Jack, please don't kill all my units. <laughs> I right. may not kill you. <laughs> Certainly possible. Oh, because you don't have any buffs on them. No buffs. So, one, two, three, four extra hits. Four, I believe on him. You're, it's all on the character? All on the character. I think his defensive stats are terrible. Go ahead and roll. That's what I'm looking for, because my roll is also terrible. I think he's just immortal. Yeah. If he has an invuln, then he might live, because I, don't think, I rolled by it. He is T5. Okay, well he lives then. <laughs> that makes you feel better. How many? Three. Four? No, three. That wasn't one? That was not one of them. Okay. So, uh, what's the AP on this? Four. So he just takes three, and he's down to one. Oh my god, I just <laughs> roll one more. <laughs> yeah, that would've been nice, huh? Instead he went after the Nightbringer. No, I, uh, no, no, I went after the no, troop to the, kill. the strat there to get him down. Oh, I couldn't reroll twice anyway. Yeah. So, we are going to fight this guy. Nemster Nick. Do two mortal wounds. Okay. Four times, because that's an extra hit. And then four wounds. Four wounds. Uh, so he's taken two. He also has. Okay, I have to check his defensive stats. Sorry, I think he's dead. You're if dead. something could die, I think this he only turn, has, that would be amazing. I think he only has four wounds. Where are you, basic lord? Basic lord? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah, he only has four wounds, so I'd have to either re-roll this or try and use the strat to stand it back up, just for the trolling. He's actually not doing yeah. anything, and he's kind of pointless from this point on. Um, so I think I just let him die. Sorry, Nemister Nick, but I need the command points more than I need you. Cool? Yeah, well, I the trolling died. That's you cool. You do two mortals and two damage? That's right. Okay, he's gone. I could try and stand him back up or re-roll See you, Chief. Because I still have OPSEC on that objective. Yeah, you do somehow. And I get to swing back Yes, over. yes you do. Let's swing back with the Chronomancer first. He misses. All right, cool. The two warriors. Both hit. One wound. Okay, well you can't kill me. No. Man, you didn't. Okay. Uh, Nightbringer? Yeah, you can't, you can't do mortals to me? The Chronomancer missed just because he could not get tropical. He was trying to get tropical. All right, one miss. And then twos. Yay! I'll spend a reroll on one of those. So three. 
Down to one. They go through, right? They go through. D6. First one's two. two. Next one's two. So he takes a total of... One guy dies. There it is. You get a field of beans. And No, I don't. You're Nightbringer. I'm going to pull that oh, guy yeah, out yeah, of combat. Yeah, that's true. That's true. This guy? Yep, I'm going to pull that guy out of combat. Okay. Uh, so they're both out of combat then. You pulled the one model who was in combat with. Yeah. Him. Okay. Yeah, but this yeah, way so you don't get the back. objective and you don't get to swing at me again and it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. You. Cool. All right, whale. Somehow you got five points out of this. Yep. I yep. Did. Yep. I did yep. Indeed. Yep. You did. You did. Uh, that's the thing that happened. Uh, back to you. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And I got the. One, two, two points for two data intercepts. Two data intercepts. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go well, up to two command points. Best of luck there, Chief. <laughs> um, it's interesting. You don't have any banners, right? I have one banner. Oh, yep, that's my home objective. Yeah, right up until eventually. Uh, did you get engaged? The, I have to swing back with them into your I would have had to, yeah. Yeah. Jack, did you get stranglehold? I did. So, I believe he is terrible in combat, as most Necron characters are. <laughs> the Royal Warden, baby, here we go. Three attacks, hidden on threes. Hot. One hit, it's powerful. One, no <laughs> wounds. Awesome. And then the Crypto Thralls. Are they a little better at least? They are actually better, somehow. Somehow they're better. I wish the Chronomancer was over here, though. So three attacks each. They could be six attacks each. Oh, boy. Hitting on yeah. fours. Nothing. Okay, well, at least you can't physically data intercept this uh, turn. I tried. I tried. Okay. I, I, that's what I was thinking here with bringing Nemesir Nick back, but he wasn't going to reach the objective, so yeah. that was pointless. Uh, well, let's see whether two Catan can bring this whole game back by themselves. Okay. They do have living metal, and so does the Chronomancer. So he goes up he's to all the way. It's my protocol, finally, the double heal one. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> well, at least he's up to three. He's up to three. So, unfortunately, not uh, as effective. But uh, this guy gains two then, so he's up to three. And then he's back to full. Cool. Uh, really just making that, that knife sink in that I didn't kill those two guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just really making that one bite. Okay. What do we want to do now? And you can't fail leadership on them, right? They lost three? They lost three. Oh, no, they didn't lose three. They lost way more than three this turn. They start out as a 12-man. Uh, okay, let's see what I roll. A six, so that would be fail. And there's two guys. One guy left after one that. One guy left. He's good. Okay, so you still have the objective. Yep, just pull one guy. Yeah, I, for I forgot it was the full. It was like 12 models. Yep. Yeah. I already spent my auto pass earlier. Well, that was a one in three to just... Undo my mistakes. You could, yeah. but not today. I don't deserve it anyway, so it's <laughs> fine. Uh, he'll just fall back over here, out of combat. Okay. What a jerk. He's going to go take that objective away. What a jerk. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> okay. And uh, I'm going to just be out of Celestine's heroic range. Yeah. There was only so far she could get. Unfortunately. So, so. Okay. And we have the Catan, of course. So you just have two models on this objective? Mm -hmm. Three. Because. Rhino statue? Rhino. Okay. It looks like it was. Yeah. Hey, yeah, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I was just wondering because you couldn't touch it over here from that side. Yeah. I think it got bumped, but that's okay. Uh, so eight inches could come over here. Uh, does that do anything? Or just try and kill these mortifiers? Or I could try and kill more of them all. You can do what you want, man. I could try. Or this chick is annoying. And and she's here, right? Yep. You get some pretty juicy mortal wounds. You get to do some cool stuff. I like cool stuff. I like mortal wounds. You know. Okay. Kind of just a grab bag of cool stuff. So, Nightbringer's dead anyway. So yes. Let's just Nightbringer's start. very dead. Let's just come up here. And I'm going to be with a nine of all of them. And I totally forgot to fire their heavy bolters. <laughs> <laughs> the mortifiers just did not fire their heavy bolters. Yeah, I mean, if you, yeah, I don't, no, think, no, it fine, fine. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Either. <laughs> so it could come there and just guarantee that Jack doesn't get uh, more than a five, which is the very safe play. So currently, I think you've gotten. 
15 and a 5, and I've gotten a 5 so far. Yeah. With a 15 in my back pocket. Yeah, exactly. So that, that cancels out my 15, which is good. So Wait, I think I... Primary? Yeah, yeah, so I think I have to... Jack has 10 right now, and you just got 15. I just got 5. Yeah, this so you, she should have 20 and I have 10. 10 on turn 2. Yep, and then... 0 on turn 3 and a 5 on Oh, that is right, actually. You did get a 10. And Jack got 0, 10, and you got 10. Okay. So then just oh, that's, it was a 10 because you failed your charges. Yeah, 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 yeah that's right, that's yeah. right. Okay. Uh, I think that's... Then I have to switch out of Sky Falling Stars and try and go after one of these characters. Or both. Yeah. Okay. We'll go ahead and switch out of Sky Falling Stars. And do we want to go with Time's Arrow or do we want to go with... Um, Thunderbolt. Um, I think we want to go with Time's Arrow. I don't think. I think if I touch the objective, though, I'm out of. Am I just within the range of her? Of 18 inches? Yeah. yeah, you are just within the range. I'm going to go for the memes. Memes. Meme Let's it do up. memes. Memes. Do it. She has four wounds? She has four wounds, so roll yeah. five or six and pick her up. Yeah. You're spending a CP to meme, and I respect uh, I'm that. Gonna meme. I'm going to meme. I'm going right. to meme. So meme it's, on her. I mean, it's going to work. Meme. No. No. She, take, she does nothing there. And then uh, the cosmic fire. One target's in range. Yep. No. Okay. Awesome. Gaze of death, I'm assuming? Yes. All right. Uh, Vol has a four up against four up feeling up against mortals. Yeah, I'm ignoring her. Oh, yeah. Also, Vol is going to die I'm gonna horribly in combat. Kill this. Uh, you need nine inches? Draxus, you Yeah, Draxus. You touch the terrain right yep, there? Yep, you're in. Okay. Try and get rid of her. Okay, I do. D3, she's dead. <laughs> you saw another um, 1, 2, and 2 I saw, coming back up again. I saw, like, a gaze of death doing nothing again. I'm like, what? And uh, Sky Falling Stars is going to target them. And I think that's the only... I can you can target these two. These two and those guys yeah. back there. So yep. start from left to right. Back. Yep. Nope. Failed. A 1. Failed. No. And don't roll 5 or 6. I rolled so cool. many sixes on you. have done they, one mortal Katan wound between the two Katan. Katan are so They're bad. so inconsistent. It's like a psychic phase, but worse. This army is so bad. <laughs> All right, here we go. Charges. I'm just going to try and take her out. Got it. Ignoring Vol, because she doesn't have a six-inch heroic, right? She doesn't. She has a three. But All right, just try to get rid of her. Yep, 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 yep. All right, and not charging there. You're they not falling heroic. back or anything? They can't heroic with me, right? No. Are you going to fall back? I already fell back with her. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. You need a four. Cool. Yep. <laughs> There we go. Got it. Got it, baby. Got it. Outside heroic range. Yeah, you needed to roll at least that to get out of heroic. But nope. you're out. Get rid of her. One miss. Oh, I can't wait for all the ones. Twos. She's, she's dead. Okay. She, yeah. You ignore invulns. Yeah. You ignore feeling the pains on. She has any. She's just gone. She's gone. All right. Okay. You kill the character. I get a miracle die out of that. And one out of my movement phase because you kill the character in that too. Cool. So five. I just want the character kills. Feels satisfying. Yeah, I know. It's gonna feel really <laughs> satisfying when I pick up Nightbringer too. We're gonna we're gonna see about that. All right. Okay. Good. So you get five points. Yep. I'm gonna get five. Yeah. Nothing I can do about that. Although we will do something about it this turn. All right. Let's see what you can do. Well, this Catan literally doesn't do anything. It's, so no, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm gonna just ignore him. Nightbringer, on the other hand, kind of a monster. Don't love it. These people are gonna move to touch terrain. Jack, what'd you score on data intercept? Data intercept, I scored a three. Three, mm -hmm. six, and that's there, that's there, okay. Yep. There. How'd you score a three? That's a great question, I scored a two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have OPSEC over there. Yeah. Mm -mm. Well, the last charge didn't do anything, so we're just going to try again. Try, 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 try again. Celestine's going to summon a lady because that's fun, right? Everyone likes that. <laughs> and these guys are just going to be real big, real angry, real run over here, pistol you <laughs> a little. I would have loved to do anything with Sky and Falling Stars instead of rolling two That would have been cool, right? Two sixes. Right? But that unfortunately, awesome. no. It's awesome. <laughs> I think our definitions of awesome I did, are different. I did get Stranglehold that turn. Yeah. That's 
Probably the last turn I get that. Oh, you did? Yeah. Did Yeah, because I only held two. Yeah, you only yeah, got stranglehold. These people are going to get out and just take the objective from you. Because I want you to get zeros from here on. I mean, you're getting a zero anyway. I'm taking that objective from you. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I don't <laughs> care. Keep him in the transport. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> whatever. It's at immortal levels of wounds right now. All right. Let's see what you got. What are, you, what are we going to start with? Well, we are going to... Vol is going to... You know, look at you very, very menacingly and reroll. Reroll hits and wounds. Okay. And these people are also going to look at you incredibly menacingly. All right, first things first. All the heavy bolters into that one. No, 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 no. Split. Sad sack over Please there. Please split fire, Jack. Oh, split. really? Really? You split want me to fire. split fire? Fine, yes. I'll split fire. Okay, perfect. Two, uh, two into him. One into the, uh, to the guy over there. Just because you asked. Literally, it's not the best play, and I know that, but just because you asked. Okay, you're probably dead. <laughs> Take that many probably. five ups. See you, Chief. Oh, Jack. Well, I only have three. I, as I said, I know it's not the right play, but you asked very nicely. I'll pull him in a sec. Swinging into. Uh, Chronomancer. Chronomancer. Three. Two. Two. Four up in wounds. Takes two damage. Down to four. No, two. He no, because he, he healed back. Yeah, he healed back. Oh, well, he only four. has four. He only has four. What a guy. Yeah. Firing two multi melters into your guy. Rerolling. Two wounds. Two invulns? Two invulns. Fail them or, and you die. Just need double four ups. Oh. Bye bye. Cool. I was, temp I was tempted to just save the CP there for trying to get him back up, but honestly, the amount of attacks over there. Ball's going to shoot you? Use it on the Nightbringer. Uh, you don't have rerolls, so that's cool. Missiles. Four rerolls hits and wounds. Two. What's the strength on them? Eight. Okay. Four up. Good. Fidelis. T7. Zero. Okay. All the heavy bolters in the entire world. <laughs> I know exactly how this goes. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to prevent it, but there is just no way. <laughs> five. Five by five. All right. Take three. Three, four up in ones. There you go. Takes two damage. Down Takes to two one. damage, down to one. <laughs> storm Bolter. Can the Storm Bolter do it? I don't think so. Uh, oh, can you use the strat on this, the Rhino? No. No? It has to be. Maybe, uh, actually, but whatever. I'm no. not I'm not about that life. Oh, come on. There's got to be it's something trolling. I can use. It's trolling. Oh, I could have Miracle Dice to six on something. Oh, that's a cool play. Whatever. We're just gonna We're just going to kill you. All right. It's fine. Don't, don't, don't overthink it. Uh, Vol, Vol is going to go in. All right, she's in. She's good. She's good. She's good. Well, I failed. I'm in the forest, so I got. Oh, you were in the forest. I got to not be cheap. You didn't have to be in the forest. I did actually. <laughs> I want to be safe. <laughs> From what? Celestine is going to charge both of them. Okay, she's good. The Zephyrum are good. Yep, Zephyrum are they're, in they're as in. well. Yep. Uh, Da, da, yeah, da, you're da. good, Jack. Charging back, whatever. Yep, you're good. You can't interrupt, so Celestine... You want to charge the Akatan? No. Okay. Yeah, here. What are you talking about? <laughs> so you're, you get a zero no matter what, so whatever. <laughs> Celestine smacking into your lord, and uh, her fellow smacking into your lord as well. Two mortal wounds. I believe he's dead. No, he's not. No, he's not, because he healed that. He healed too. But he should be dead after this. Bye-bye. AP4. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then Zephyr. Royal Warden. Can they kill the... Crypto thralls. Do you want a buff? No, I'm good. I okay. actually don't have. No, I do have the one CP one I could use, but, Just but they have four attacks it. apiece right now. Bloody Rose hit hard. No, one six. So one six that stays in. Good thing I don't take any dice bets. Oh my gosh. T five. The fives. One two. Okay, AP four. AP four. So one guy goes. Is there two wounds each? Yep. And then does he get back up? And you still have that objective, which is I still have that objective. ludicrous. <laughs> they can't fail morale. So I'm going to get a five. You are going to get a I'm five. I'm going to get a five. And then here we're going to go for right. sweep attacks. Because I believe if I need to force one through, that's better. Okay. Uh, Morvin Vol yes. versus the Nightbringer. One extra hit. That's a lot of sweep attacks. Yep, doubles her attacks. Is five attacks? Yep. Three. Rerolls. Four. Yep. 
Can I make four four ups? Please don't. It's AP million. AP at least enough. Okay. See you, Chief. All right, failed three of them. <laughs> does he blow up? He does. D3, one mortal. Four up field of pain against mortal wounds. Why okay. is it, why does he have that rule? <laughs> She's so cool, what dude. She's so cool. All right, he goes down. I'm gonna get a five on primary. Somehow. And a one on data, uh, two on data intercept. Who data intercept? Oh, no, I couldn't data intercept because yeah. I couldn't. So you zero on data intercept, yeah. Yep. What about a banner? I do still have one banner. Somehow. <laughs> Over there. It's wild. <laughs> we'll it's get wild. it from you eventually. It's wild. Uh, you just, got a stranglehold? I did. Uh, yes, you did. Can you work on getting me an estimate of no prisoners? Uh, uh, that's going to get a lot easier because okay. should be. it's just going to be your army minus and plus data that. Intercept, yeah. What did you score on that right now? Data intercept, I scored a two last turn. Yeah. And then and I can only, I can't really take you off objective, so you're going to score another. I'm going to score a four. One, two, three, and you'll hold this one. Yeah, four. Because I'm going to just fall back. I can wrap you there. That's the only thing. Okay. Yeah. So wrap you so you can't oh, fall I'll back. I'll use my desperate breakout trying to get out of it. You, okay. You're desperate. Oh, yeah. Two. Two, two, two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you can't fall back out of that. Okay. Cool. Embarrassingly, I just learned it was two CP at the yeah. last tournament. And I would. No, just, it's emergency disembark this one. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. All right. Uh, would you like to just see if he does anything? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Because um, I'm not going to hold anything anyway. So I might as well try and. Uh, do I go after... Yeah, just see if I kill them. It's the only thing I can actually do. What's funny is I physically can't kill them on my turn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's just no way. So uh, let's see what Catan powers. He, he has the uh, Cosmic Fire. Actually, there is a way I can kill him. I'm going to get cheeky with it. All right, cosmic Fire. Yep. Nope. The Mortifiers. Nope. And the Rhino. Yes. Cool. <laughs> Definitely want to... I know. <laughs> and... He has Sky Falling Stars. Yep. All right, so am I in range of this Bing, bing, and bing gun. Yeah, see if that was ones. D3. Is it it's still five men? Yeah, it's still five men. You just didn't do anything. Dude. One. Hot. Can no, I roll a one? I do on the two. Can I kill them both? No. Nope. Kill only one. <laughs> and then uh, the Zephyrum. I do get it. And two die. Two, two dig Okay. All right. Coolio. Shooting uh, phase. All right, that was fun. Yep. Fight phase. Charge, charge phase. Might charge. as well. Five attacks. Uh, all hit. Okay. Threes. Uh, sure. Yep. I get my field of pains against this. Yep. Three damage. It's D six damage a piece. Yep. Three. Okay. And then the next one. So six total. Six total. Good. And you get one more. You'll take another five. I took three. And I die. Yep. And right. These blow up. I they on one they don't normally blow up, but I can on a four up do D three mortal wounds sure. to you right now. Uh, this is not going to matter, Jack. <laughs> I, I want to meme. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Actually, yeah, this yeah <laughs> I'm going I'm to do it. <laughs> Screw it. Yes. Okay. You take two. All right. So. For whatever that's worth. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't get me below to the two brackets. I but must. That won't I must meme. I'm not punching you. All right. What if you roll real good? See? Two wounds. Yep. It didn't matter, but that's fine. <laughs> All right. Good game, Jack. Good game. So they get picked up. I get a 15 on my last turn. Yep. I get a 5 on data intercept. Yeah, there was... Because I hold these, this one, and I yep. hold all these. I control this in my command phase, so uh, that's the only one that I would hold. But that doesn't matter. Uh, no prisoners, Jack? No prisoners. So you it killed is... 60 warriors plus... This was the count? Yeah, Five, 33 two. is the count. 43 is the count. 43 is the count? Of guys who got back, So that's yes. 103, and then the scarabs are, uh, I have 5, 10, 13 of them. Times 4, four. Yep. that's going to be, that's going to yeah, be, should be 15. Max. Yeah. yeah, so 15 on that. Um, Stranglehold, I got a 12. And what did you score and then last round on data intercept? 5. You five. missed it two turns. Turn one and uh, oh, okay, three, I got right? nine on stranglehold. I, think yeah, I thought I missed it one, but I guess I missed it one. I think you missed it twice. Maybe uh, not. You, I don't you, think it matters. You're going to get a twelve on stranglehold because you get that last at the end of this turn. You missed it at turn one and two. Okay. Yeah, so he should get a nine. Nine, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Three points each. And then I get a fifteen on the last round, and I got a five on this round, so I think I should be a thirty on primary. Yep. He got five more for data intercept at the end. So I, ha I had to go the long way this game <laughs> yep. to getting, like, I, I definitely didn't, I basically had to kill every warrior twice. <laughs> like, yeah, you actually didn't want to finish them off. 
because it got you guaranteed points. But uh, at the same time, you know, they're very yeah. annoying on threatening the primary. They kept coming back threatening primary, but at a certain point I was okay with it because I knew this end game was going to happen where you just don't have anything left. Yeah. What do we got there, Charlie? All right. Final I just score. I wanted to give you the final score. Final score was 76 to 51 going for Jack. Good game. Good game, Richard. Tell us about new sisters. They're super fun. There's a lot of new combos you can do. You saw a bunch of those. Uh, Vol, I like a lot. Um, all the mortal wounds, all the wounds off the flamers. Yeah, the the flamers, flamers do a flamers ton of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do require CP, but if you're doing, uh, you know, uh, if you're being a little more disciplined with them, it's actually easy to fit that into yeah. the list. I didn't really hurt for CP at the end of the game really yeah, that I much. I had my reroll every turn. Yep. That was about it. Where you had started in the the first round, first draft you did, where you started around like five or six CP. Yeah, that I felt got a little, little too overboard little. on starting stuff. at eight, eight to but nine. That's how every draft list works: is yeah. you you add a bunch of stuff in, you're like, all right, all right, calm down. <laughs> calm down. Yeah, calm I don't down. actually we need to start at eight stuff. CP, not exactly. five. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and Celestine Vol. Celestine Vol seems really strong. I didn't get to use the way the Celestine can bodyguard units by heroic King six inches in, and then suffering and sacrifice, which prevents your opponent from fighting anything other than her or yeah. her unit. Uh, but you're not coming. It's not really a melee. So, yeah, it exactly. doesn't really come up. So, but that's cool. You can keep Vol alive with that. Vol shoots actually pretty hard for herself. If she targets herself with Vol buff every turn, I'm, or Celestine every turn, I'm not sad about it. Yeah. And if she targets a unit of Zephyr or whatever, that also that also hits really, really, really hard. Uh, Mortifiers were really good, especially since you have no way of killing them. <laughs> yeah. This is not a list that Negrons don't really do shoot at long range. Shooting but well. there's a lot of armies that can't interact with Mortifiers in a particularly effective way. Yes, yeah, some of them. And you know. They just shoot. They have a reasonable game. amount of defense. You know, five of Phenopane is a great thing to have. Yep, three up armor, four up armor for some of them, and yeah, then just and they shooting. Have de decent speed on the on the outside of the board too. Yep, yep, and then they they just shoot every turn. Eighteen shots, eighteen shots, eighteen shots, eighteen shots. It's just it adds up. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Necrons, on the other hand, uh, tried my best. Necrons, they're in a tough spot. They, they are. Uh, they do not have, as you saw, I have my Warlord trait is a generic rulebook Warlord trait. That tells you how good they are. You were leadership 11. I was, it actually mattered that one time. Sure. You could have rolled a 6. I could have rolled a 6, and you I could have rolled that in the six, past. Yeah. Uh, you know, the Warriors still do it. Uh, Custom Dynasty does it. It's just the list doesn't have a lot of stuff. Uh, maybe you end up just going back to Ghost Arcs with 10 Warriors inside. But I love the reanimation potential. Reanimation is really what like continues to threaten yeah. objectives. Reanimation is really strong. This list didn't really care about multi melters, so if Jack went for a more traditional sisters list with fifteen multi melters. I don't yeah. care at all. I like the the splashes in there, like the fact that I had Bloody Rose in all my combat units. That was amazing. The fact I had a single flamer unit, which can do a lot of work into like Dark Eldar. Like once they're demeched, yeah. that unit just comes out and just cleans house. Yeah. Oh, six hit, six hit, six hit, six hit, six hit, six hit, six. Hit. Katan on the other hand, wildly overpriced, wildly inconsistent, yep, but yep, they are still the best tool you have for dealing with sister bodyguard rule, because otherwise, you know, you're not doing a whole bunch. Yeah, you can replace that with 600 points worth of stuff, I'll just kill it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know, they're, uh, they're in a tough spot. Uh, we got any questions? Uh, yeah, uh, first question is post-game question for Richard Siegler. Does he think that this is the only Necron list that is semi-playable in tournaments right now, or do you think no. there is another build? No, I, I think you could still run like the older style where you have like a, a bunch of Wraith squads, you have uh, just more things on the board, more custom dynasty stuff to keep trading turn after turn. The problem is you, Necros just don't kill stuff very efficiently. The Novak list did, but the game has gone tremendously up in defense and offense. So your warrior bricks aren't as durable anymore, and they don't do as much damage to things. Like Could ignoring AP1 and 2 is brutal. So I think, uh, honestly, the meta is just passing Necrons by. It's, it's an old codex at this yep. point. And Which is uh, weird. It just came out the start of ninth. Like, exactly. It came out. It came out like November. It, it feels like October. they were working on it during eighth. Yeah. It feels like a late eighth edition codex. Yeah. So they really need some points drops, and unfortunately, it might not be coming for a while. What do we got? Uh, thanks, Lyle, for that question. Now we're going for a question from Matt O. It says thoughts about Vol in the list versus taking a few more units. Was she worth it? I like Vol. Um, so Vol lets you take a multi-order uh, list because she applies to everything in the list. Um, so if she's if you're taking a multi-order list, she's replacing a Canoness, a Palatine, another Canoness, and another Palatine. <laughs> and at that point, she is like 85 points more than all four of those characters combined. And she gives you the full reroll hits and wounds buff, and she is a monster. And so for that, she's amazing. Even over one Pal Palatine and one Canoness, who tend to stay together, 
-hmm. to give out their buffs. So she's literally the two of them. She is more durable, she hits way harder, and she's only like 180 or so more points than them. And for a combat beast on top of that, and she shoots reasonably hard. Like, she gives her reroll buff to herself and she shoots at a raider and she has some miracle dice support, especially with the dialogue just next to her, modifying the dice. She has decent odds of just killing a raider outright yeah. by herself. Um, and she hits incredibly hard in combat and she gives out the full reroll hits and wounds. So Celestine, she turbocharges Celestine. Yeah, she can be bodyguarded as well. She can be bodyguarded. With Celestine, you reroll everything except the sixes and your mortal wound output spikes. So when you give full reroll hits and wounds to Celestine, you roll, you take everything that isn't a six and you roll it again. And Celestine's damage output goes from here to there. Good while we stand as well. Great while we stand, which gives this list while we stands, which sisters don't usually have. Yep. Because everything you have is on the front lines. Like against a lot of armies, Vol, Celestine play a little more safe. And then one unit of mortifiers would just be back here shooting very just safely all the Narrow time. angles. Narrow yeah. angles, not exposing themselves. If they go down to one model, they can't fail the leadership because exactly. they're lead eight. Yep. And then that one model will hide the rest of the game. Exactly. And then that's a 15 on what we stand very easily. Yep, it's really nice to build that secondary into your list. What else we got, Charlie? Uh, we have one final question from Tim Penny Tom Pony. It says, <laughs> how did the list feel, Jack? What's the next step from here? Did anything underperform? Uh, the list felt pretty good. The fact I'm going into Necrons definitely skews it. Like, the Mortifiers felt amazing. And they're a little bit more brought down to Earth against normal matchups. Whereas the Sacrosants are just Sky of Falling Stars bait. So... Yeah. They felt a little worse. But honestly, the list felt pretty good. It feels like it has a lot of depth to it that I need to get reps in with. I just need to get rep after rep after rep with this style of list and just combine and chain combos together. Do you worry about having a little less obsec? A little less obsec yeah. kinda kinda hurts, but I I don't really see a viable way to build it into the list because the troops in sisters are about the worst thing in the book. I mean a 20-man battle sister breaks. No, I'm good. <laughs> uh, other than that, I'm taking 55-point units when I could be taking like a 75-point unit that just kills God on the charge. So like... Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. So you've gone prioritized killing over uh, obsec right now. Killing and mobility as much as possible to let myself get angles and just take objectives rather than try and sneak onto them with obsec. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What else we got? Uh, all right. Well, thanks everybody for joining us. Hope you enjoyed this game. Sisters, yeah, this once again. A fun game, yeah. Back for to sure. back victories for the sisters on the stream. And then coming up tonight in the war room, I am going to be playing my ACO Tau list up Ooh. against Nick Nadavati's post FAQ Jukari list. So, what that matchup could have been if ACO actually put the FAQ in it. You mean effect. the ACO semifinals? So, it's in, yeah, ACO semifinals. All right. A rematch. So, hopefully, you can join us there at 5 p.m. Eastern time in the war room. I'm really excited for it. Uh, Nick has a you know, brand new list that he's cooking up for Jukari. Uh, see if it can continue to dominate the Chronos in it? It doesn't have the Chronos. Really? It doesn't. Interesting. No, it's even more, more mission playing stuff. So we'll see how that plays out into the towel. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining Thank us. Thank you. And um, uh, tell your friends, like, subscribe, uh, do all the cool jazz. Really appreciate all your support, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Dive even deeper into competitive 40K and become a member of the world's most knowledgeable and positive community. The War Room is an exclusive group that brings together the world's best 40K players as coaches to help anyone from a newer player to an experienced tournament veteran learn, grow, and reach their goals with our shared hobby. Each week we offer a variety of live stream coaching matches centered around illuminating the thought process and in-game decision making of top players. We explain everything we're doing and why. You'll learn about the ever-evolving meta, match play mission theory, list making, and discussion of every faction in the game, and have access to analysis of all the latest rules. Our team of highly experienced coaches teach weekly clinics on each individual faction, strategy sessions on deployment and cool tricks, and meta analyses each week during Meta Monday. We are committed to not only providing the best knowledge for players available, but also building a one-of-a-kind community. Come be a part of the War Room.